come with us now, if you dare, down a rickety staircase into a dank, dark basement. What awaits the Saturday Night Freak Show? <laughs> Hey, thanks for listening to the Saturday Night Freak Show podcast, where a group of internet radio superstars are going to sit around, watch a movie. Well, we did that already. Then we're going to talk about it for your listening pleasure. Who are these internet radio superstars? Holly. Michaela. Sean. And I'm Colin. We should just start a podcast where it's just us watching the movie and see who can figure it out. The listeners (laughs) are just like, are they... Are they watching the movie right now? <laughs> just from this context clues. Yeah. yeah, it's just like this is a four hour podcast. Yeah. What's going on? I what would you that. name it? What just episode two? I episode love that three. Sean's just like, we should do this. And as soon as he said that, I was like, that's the ter- that's a terrible idea. Oh, that's the worst idea I've ever oh, heard bad. in my life. And Sean's just like, let's let, do that. Yeah, let's let's do let something. them figure it out. <laughs> let's do something that's purely visual on an audio yeah, podcast. I mean, because yeah. what other podcast is doing that? A we gotta Braille be podcast. The, we gotta be on the forefront. Yeah. Yes. Exactly. It's just gonna be three dots. Uh there was some Silence, <laughs> and then we'll get into the podcast. It Nobody sounds, else is doing. Sounds it. brilliant. We got to do it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. See, yeah. in corner of the market. <laughs> exactly. Very innovative, Sean. Really so uh, we're hoping that uh, if you like what we do here, that you'll give us a review, a star rating, or uh, a like on uh, Stitcher, Apple Podcasts, Podcast Addict, or wherever you found us. Or you can Podcast write to us, give us a comment on Facebook. Facebook.com slash Saturday Night Freak Show. On Twitter. At Sat Freak Show. Uh, by email. Saturday Night Freak Show at Yahoo.com. Or on Instagram at Saturday Night Freak Show. We're all over. We're totally in the mood for world domination and hope that you'll help us out. Please do. Mm-hmm. So the movies here are chosen round robin. So tonight's movie was chosen by... Sean! Sean. I feel if I hadn't put my arms up, I would have been just hanging there for a minute. I did space in there. Yeah, Yeah, I needed that. Uh, Well, I know this is the 30th anniversary of Predator, Sean, so what do we watch? I mean, what do I do here, Colin? I don't, uh, I don't go by these anniversaries no, that these the people sequels. talk about. Yeah. We, because we can't bring Predator to the podcast. Everybody else is doing that. Yeah, fuck them. I yeah. mean, it's, everyone knows Predator. Everybody Sean talks has it about out Predator. for every other podcast ever. <laughs> fuck that. We're wa- we watch Predator Two. Oh, Predator Two exactly. from the year 1990, set in the year 1997 in uh. sweaty, sweaty Los Angeles. <laughs> The future. The future. I wish, I wish there was a title card that said that. I wish there was a title card that just said sweaty, 1997, sweaty. fade out, and then sweaty, fade in, sweaty, Los, Los Angeles. Because <laughs> that is what's going on in this movie. There's yeah. so much sweat. Sweating. So much sweat. Like it rivals over the top in sweat levels, right? It's, it does. I'd say there. yeah. There's a glistening there. layer of damp sweat yeah, on I feel, everything. Yeah, uh, gross. Yeah, and they yeah. shot it with Ugh. this kind of everything. Ha- the daytime scenes, anyway, have kind of an Amber, is it amber mm-hmm. hue where it's just yeah. kind Smoggy. of like, yeah. Well, right. It's, it's golden. Hazy. A golden hue. It's, gold. there it's you Los go. Angeles. It's, it's always hazy. golden. It's always. It's overcrowded. It's very bright. It's, it's dirty. hot. Yeah. It's dusty. And apparently there are gang wars. On the streets of Los Angeles in future world of 1997. Jamaican gang war. The what? Yeah, the Jamaican. Jamaican, yeah. gang The Jamaican war. voodoo posse. Yes. That's a great, great. That's like, great. <laughs> it creates a nice spectacle, you know? Like, the, like the costume design is so extravagant it that feels it looks like a visually Bay very movie nice. At yeah. this point. I'm yeah. thinking mostly like Bad Boys 2. That's where yeah. this fits in, I think. Well, where was Marked for Death? That was like 90, 91, right? Was it Marked for Death the where Steven Seagal took on the Jamaican drug lords? I mean, everybody Were did Jamaican drug lords like taking over the United States? I'm not very Seagal literate, so I don't know. I, I, thought, <laughs> I thought the Jamaicans were a peaceful people. <laughs> <laughs> not in Los Angeles or Miami, apparently. Oh. Those are the two places where they're just like, fuck it, we can rule everything. Mm-hmm. And they just go nuts. That's sad. Smoking lots of ganja and dude, shooting lots of automatic big, Those were big blunts. fatties, dude. Those mm-hmm. were fatties. In this movie. I've never and, seen and they were like smoking blunt. them halfway down and yeah. throwing them out the window. Like, that, are they that rich that they can just like, I'll smoke half this? and just toss it? Forget that. How do you even like, operate on any level of <laughs> that much shit? Like, that's would why be I'm immobile. like, how are they not peaceful? Like, yeah. Very true. Seriously. They're so Very rich true. that their blunts are an inch in diameter. They smoke it halfway and throw halfway. it out the window. Yeah. Yeah. You, can't, you shouldn't be angry after that. Yeah. swimming in that yeah. stuff, right? Yeah. Well, I don't shouldn't get how their boss, uh, King Willie, yes. right? The... Jamaican voodoo priest of Los Angeles who runs the gang. Sure. Uh, sorry, runs the He's posse. Yes. 
uh, he seems to like govern or make all of his decisions by just throwing, you know, uh, chicken, chicken bones, bones. <laughs> and reading the Standard. omen. They mm-hmm. always say the same thing. That guy's got mm-hmm. a great voice. He does. Mm-hmm. I've only seen him in one if other thing, which way. has to show up in this freak show at some point. It was called The Beast Must Die, where he yeah, was yeah. a good oh, game hunter. Yeah. yeah, it's the one oh, with the yeah. werewolf break where the movie stops so you can, which one of these people is oh, the werewolf? Right, you right, have right. one minute. Yeah. Huh. Oh, yeah. Calvin Lockhart. Bring it. his name. Bring it. One day. <laughs> One day. And he was the guy that Holly said if this movie, had, uh, Holly and I both said if this movie had been made like eight years later, that would have been Mackay Pfeiffer in that role. Hands down. <laughs> Hands down. <laughs> he doesn't have the gravitas. No, the but in, in the 90s, they didn't know that. In no, the late 90s, serious, they were just like, hey, yeah. he's hot right now. Put him yeah, in this. Put him in it. He was in Romeo and Juliet. <laughs> right. He had dreadlocks and mm-hmm. eight mile. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and Romeo and Juliet. <laughs> oh, did he? Yeah. 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 yeah, he did. He was Mercutio. He's Mercutio. He gets stabbed with glass in his abdomen. He was, yeah. No, it's pretty metal. He's not movie in a while. Mercutio. Dude. Hey, pretty sure he is. You no, sure? that's, um, that's somebody else. Harold uh, Perrineau. Oh, yeah, it is. From, from Lost. Lost. Yeah. <gasps> You're right. Mm. It is. And Oz You're and whatnot. Is. The yeah. originator of the uh, dreadlock look. Yeah. All right, well, maybe we should talk about, <laughs> since we're ta- starting off talking about the cast of this movie, who do we got in uh, Predator 2? We just go down each one of them. I mean, we've got Danny Glover. Yeah. An action star. Yeah. Right? Which so I'm all is, for. That's an odd casting choice, sure. I thought. Like, he had done Lethal Weapon 1 and 2 by this point. Yes. But is Danny Glover, did he come off to you like he's the guy that you cast in an action movie? He may no. not be an obvious choice, but he <laughs> I works. Mean, he was very slow moving in this movie. I mean, he's always very slow moving. But uh, I think I mean, he works like he's he's a big, but he's a big guy. First of all, he seems like he's intimidating enough. Like is I don't he? want him. I just don't want him in my face cursing at me. He's intimidating. He does that he's very intimidating well. Intimidating as a baseball coach. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say he's really good at those like cop- angels in the outfield. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> he, his his okay when, when he's at his best is when he's doing his cop walk and talks. You know, yeah. like through the station. Mm-hmm. Beyond that, I don't really care to see him do anything other than that. Mm-hmm. Like, he does a lot of talking to himself too. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Son yeah. of a bitch. Yeah, he's That's got those his little. Key line had to be 30 floors up. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Always talks like that. Oh, yeah. When I'm talking to myself. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, he's intimidated when he yells at somebody and he gives that like extra slap to yeah. uh, I, you know, Gary Busey. Fuck out of my face. Yeah. yeah. He yeah. just, but he's, he's good at cursing. Like he just says it right. Just fuck. Mm-hmm. He does it well. Sorry. Well, yeah. I mean, also, I mean, like, it, you know, it's a, it's a thing. I guess you're following Arnold Schwarzenegger. It's like, you got to be like super tough dude. Yeah. Which, you know, you don't think, or at least I don't, go, Danny Glover. Yeah, that's and not I, your first thought. No. But no. he's also got an opportunity here to play his own age and not, you know, mm-hmm. Roger Murtaugh, who yeah. is too old for things. Right. Shit. Right. Yeah. You know, they get the gray out of the hair. And I'm like, oh, he actually looks like a young man. Yeah. Like, yeah. I, don't, I don't know how old he was during this. I, I could never gauge how old he was because he was old. playing an old guy in fucking, yeah. Can yeah. Never gauge in Lethal Weapon. Is. Yeah. No idea. Um. Who else is in the cast? Maria Conchita Alonso. Mm-hmm. Colin, the Colin, favorite of Collins. Oh, yeah. yeah. From I the Running Man. Running Man. Yeah, from the Running <laughs> yeah. Man. Yeah. yeah. So is that like that's her all two? From. Right. Yeah. The Running Man with Schwarzenegger, then, you know, uh, yeah, that's all I got. Two. Mm-hmm. That's it. That's, that's all I got. All. Nope. Yeah. No, you know I better than us. I got nothing. I didn't even know her name. I, I didn't even, uh, I had, until they said, I was like, oh, yeah, that's her name mm-hmm. for this one. I'm just like, oh, yeah, Running Man. And she plays a tough hombre on uh, Danny Glover's special. Well, he's a they're police. They're cop team. Yeah, right? they're, they're the, the police of Los LAPD. Angeles. Yeah, detectives. Yeah, sorry, sure they are detectives. You can tell they're detectives because they, they wear, wear street clothes, street clothes, suits. big suits. ass suits, and loud shirts, like almost zoot suits, like almost, that, zoot, almost suits. zoot suits. They're and so the big. shoulder pads the most, on these suits, and are the the one wearing wonderful. the most ridiculous suit jackets is none other than Bill Paxton. Uh, of course, may he rest, rest in peace. Yeah, may, may he rest, rest in peace. peace. Yeah, yeah, and he's sweating through it. Sweat, Pit stains like crazy, it. and he's like the movie. Joker. Of the group because yeah. he's the Lone Ranger. Who's he come tries, from, but you know he <laughs> so almost bad. had the the scene where he is introduced to Danny Glover. Danny Glover gives him the Morgan Freeman speech from Seven. Yeah, mm-hmm. I'm only going to say this once. Mm-hmm. You know, it worries me that you transfer or try you yeah. fought to get transferred here. It's yeah. like the exact same thing, even though this came first. But yes, yeah. So he's the guy who fought to get transferred into the worst police precinct in Los Angeles yeah. to fight mm-hmm. the war. And he's got a joke for every occasion. Yeah. yeah. And everything is his specialty, it turns out. Yeah. And he's not a bad cop. 
He actually does pretty good. He it does turns good out, yeah. You don't, it turns out. You, you don't think, think so at first, but no. after a while, you're like, oh, he actually does care about his job. Yeah, Here. and he cares about he kind of cares about the team that he's working with. I mean, I think that speech had a little bit of effect on him. It looked like it did in the scene. Mm-hmm. It was such an odd character because at very first odd. he was he was so goofy, like so ridiculously cheesy. Yeah, very. And over I was just the like, top. like he was very reminiscent of um, the sleazy brother he played in Weird Science, mm-hmm. like very over the top Chet. comical. Chet. Oh, yeah. I love Chet. Yeah. And then all of a sudden, like halfway through the movie, he he kind of changes up gears, and I'm like, oh, well, he can act. Here's Bill Paxton. Like yeah. it's just very odd. Yeah, he uh, mellows out a little bit. Yeah. And, well, it's after the death of uh, Reuben Blades, yes. singer Reuben Blades. Singer is he a singer? Yeah, he was before this. I don't what? think that this. I can't remember if this was his film debut. I know he was in the Two Jakes. Oh, was with, he? Uh, yeah, the Chinatown sequel. The Chinatown sequel, yeah. And I'm sure he did some other. The only like, thing dramatic I've roles. ever seen him in, other than this, that I can remember. Is Once Upon a Time in Mexico. That's it. Mm-hmm. I'm sure maybe oh, I've seen oh, him yeah. something else, wow. but he was in Once Upon a Time in Mexico. Mm. In a yeah, mm-hmm. and he's uh, Danny Glover's like name Danny man. as a name Dan- Danny yes, boy. He is Danny boy. Danny boy. Yes. <laughs> yeah, some candy. Who unfortunately meets an early exit or makes an early exit from the movie. He does. Mm. Is Danny Glover? Before we get back to the cast, mm-hmm. is this because I was watching it tonight thinking like. He's playing Dirty Harry, right? Like trying the the way that or Cobra, right? I mean, or I guess Cobra, is this a yes. stereotype. God, it's it's, it's from the nineties, but yes. this feels like an eighties movie. It, like, yeah. oh yeah, does, definitely. It does. It's barely nineties. I mean, 90. I mean it was probably made in the eighties. You know, yeah, if it came out in ninety, uh, right. it was probably made in the eighties. But he it's has got the that stank all over it. It's <laughs> got that uh, you know. I mean, like, what, like, what do you want from the awesome eighties or nineties? I want cop? explosions. No, I mean, but okay. specifically your your cop. Your, your cop. I want. To- uh, an attitude. I want a, a disrespect. flagrant district guard, district guard for, for authority yeah. and yeah. rules. Yeah. Because yeah. as long, oh, yeah. because they are just red tape standing in the way of what's right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I can get this done. I don't need some bullshit higher power looking over me and telling me what to do. Yeah. I can do this. How this guy like has a job, I don't know. I yeah, mean, they go out of their way to try and explain that because Robert Davi from uh, Agent Johnson from Die Hard. Oh yes, a special Agent Johnson, and also the drug kingpin from License to Kill. Is the he's a police commissioner or something? He's always dressed in the nines and it's yeah, and many other things. No, and this he's yeah. like the oh, know, yeah, because there's the captain and then this guy's above the captain. She's so, what is he? I don't know because they were just, talking about like the chief, yeah, which we never meet. Yeah, maybe he's the chief, but like Danny Glover's character goes right up to this guy and is like, you know, like I'm not, and he's yelling, yeah, and he's as yelling Danny Glover him. does. Yes, yeah. I love like, Danny There's Glover nothing yelling. gonna stand in between me and like what I'm gotta do here. Blah blah blah. I don't care. The feds are coming in. Yeah, yeah. He's got a job to do. Yeah, and anger you're not issues. letting him do it. You gotta yeah. have a cop with anger issues. He does. Obviously. They go through anger the laundry issues. list of of later on yeah. on the computer of just OCD like everything. And OCD, uh, yeah. prone to violent outrages and everything. And yeah. he's destroyed eight cop cars. Eight cop cars. But he's had commendations, Colin. He's a good cop. And he well, he has the yeah. best arrest fel- felony arrest record of anyone on the force ever. Basically. That's what I'm saying. Like this guy is Dirty Harry. They just took Dirty Harry out of the seventies and stuck him in this movie. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Pretty much. Yeah. Uh who else rounds out our cast? Gary uh, Busey. Oh. At his most controlled ever mm-hmm. in this movie. Like this is the most subdued, like straight line Gary Busey of oh modern times. Outside of like Silver Bullet. No, oh, I would God, even say this Bullet is more con- controlled than Silver Bullet, even. <laughs> He's pretty controlled in this one. Yeah. But he does all right. This is a, re- uh, a reuniting of uh, Danny Glover and uh, Gary Busey for this movie because they were in uh, Lethal Weapon. Yeah. Lethal Mr. Weapon. Joshua. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. They're just reusing a lot of the same talent. We said that uh, the officer, who was it? Uh, Steve Cahan. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. You'd know him as the captain from uh, all the Lethal Weapon movies. He's in this. We watched something last week he was in, I feel. Was he in Lost Boys? I no. feel like he was in Lost Boys for a minute. No. He was in something, something I just watched, but that's neither here nor there. It's a Joel Silver production, mm-hmm. so I think you know he brings in all these people. Plus, he's the cousin of Richard Donner, so that, I mean that helps him out a little bit. Yeah, but that's why he keeps showing up in these movies. But he's a good actor; I like him. Well, then uh, we neglected to mention who directed this: Stephen Hopkins. Stephen but Hopkins. This, this uh, continues Joel Silver's streak of like poaching the directors of the Nightmare on Elm Street movies. He did part five. He did part five, and then he did this. Yeah, and Rennie Harlan did part four, and then he did Ford oh. Fairlane and Die Hard too. Oh, yeah, he's just wow. picking them off. Yeah. 
Ugh, so Joel Silver like loved those Nightmare on Elm Street movies and wanted to give these kids. He likes kids. the worst ones. Yeah. 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 <laughs> it's like, let's get these kids into the major leagues. Stephen um, Hopkins. Yeah. Who also did Ghost in the Darkness. Oh. Did he do? You guys ever seen that movie? Yeah. yeah. I like that movie. I, I do, but I have, it has problems. It's got problems, sure. But, but, but the, the, the premise of the movie and the acting is very solid. The premise is yeah. great because of the fact that it's like a real story. And, and it's very hometown are, heroes for us. Is, well, yeah. The They're not far are at from the, us. The Field Museum. Yeah. They're mm-hmm. still up there. Even if you look at them now, you will be afraid. Yeah. <laughs> it's like the yeah. closing yeah. lines of that movie. Yeah. I like that movie. Yeah, the acting is great in that yeah, movie, too. I like yeah, that. It was pretty did good. Did Hopkins also do, was Judgment Night his? The one with yes. Neely West of us? Yes. He did that. And Blown Away. Which we mentioned. Oh I think. shit! The, right. the, the actual one with Jeff Bridges. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh. Yeah. That famous uh, Tommy Lee Jones I like Irish. What? <laughs> Did I like the other one? What's the other one? It was mentioned with before. Corey Haim. Oh, right. oh. that's the one we mentioned because we mistook it for the other one. Right. Yeah. yeah. Note the other, the good blown away. But this was also a like a freak show old home week because we got appearances by Kent McCord. Oh, yeah. From, uh, oh, Return of Living Dead Part 3. Right, yeah. which we've covered on this show. And uh, the, I'm just secretly bringing Kent McCord movies to <laughs> the podcast. Like, you guys find other things that connect You're like them. a Kent it's McCord purist. Kent McCord. You're like the president of his fan club. Yeah, yeah. 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 You're a Kent McCord purist. I will like, reveal like, this guy needs to be on. in more movies. Yes. How come he hasn't been in more movies? Yes. He's got that square jaw. He plays he a, does. Fucking, he he looks plays like a, a fucking a, cop in every goddamn movie. Basically. Yeah, and then this movie, he kind of looks like a lost brother of Jeff Fahey for for some reason. I don't know why. He just looks like Jeff Fahey. Jeff Fahey. Yeah, he yeah. looks like Jeff yeah. Fahey a little bit yeah. in this movie. I'm that just like, chin, dude. Ah, yeah. what's going on here? And you're like, if I rent enough of his movies on Amazon, they'll give him some more work. <laughs> or he'll recognition get... for the work he's done. <laughs> or he'll get why those are residuals. people watching these movies? It's because Kent McCord is the... What's yeah, the exactly. common denominator what's the here? Denominator? Yeah. Right. Even they won't figure it out. They're like, hmm. Uh, the, the there's resident? no connection. Is it McCord? Stop it. No. It's never McCord. No one likes McCord. Shut up. Well, we also had, uh, before we're done with ca- the cast role, um, I don't remember what her name was, but the Mother Superior from Silent Night, Deadly Night oh, yeah. is the medical examiner in this movie. The only other thing I've ever seen her in. It really is. And I was watching this movie going, fuck, I know her from this movie and I couldn't place it. And then you mentioned it. And she's like, yes, Mother mm-hmm. Superior. A great role as Mother Superior. Yeah. Oh, and we can't forget uh, Morton Downey Jr. Of course, as Tony Pope. Yeah. Yes, Tony Pope. The host of Hardcore. Hardcore. Which is a take hard on copy. Hard Copy. Yeah, Hard Copy ripoff. <laughs> yeah. But Boy, it's the exact bag. same typeface as the Lethal Weapon movie. It is. Mm-hmm. It is. Do any of you guys remember the Morton Downey Jr. show? Was it Morton Downey or Morton Downey Jr.? I think it was Morton, Morton Downey. Downey Jr.? I th- Jr. I think it was Jr. Yeah, I think so too, right? Yeah. You remember his TV show? No. 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 Oh, I know yeah. that it existed, but I don't remember it. Do you remember The Scandal? No, no. no. You, tell you us, Colin. Yes. Ooh, scandals! <laughs> you just said the magic word. Right, we now, all lit up. <laughs> I'm not entirely sure. I believe because Geraldo Rivera also had a show at the same period of time, and Geraldo Did somebody also beat somebody up. Yeah, this oh, guy. Okay, just, uh, okay. got. Uh, accosted in a bathroom somewhere yes. by a skinhead right. or something like yeah. that. It beat the living shit out of now him. I and I think, like, oh, you wow. know, basically that broke it. Because, you know, he'd get on the, like Geraldo, they were mm-hmm. bringing in all these people and yeah. and poking the bear. So Did they go on to make fun that. of that in the cable guy? Wasn't I think the so. Bathroom scene? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It was a bathroom. Oh, yeah, because yeah, Geraldo got bashed in the head, I think. Yeah. Also, skinheads, maybe. I yeah, can't I think remember. It feels or like skinheads were Ku-Klux a big Klan. thing. Yeah. Somebody beating him with a chair. I can't remember. Yeah. Just Broke his face. He was all wrapped up. I remember that. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. It was the glory days of... It's also the height of satanic TV. panic, too. So. Sleazy, yeah. trashy yeah. shit yeah. on TV. <laughs> but that's grimy. basically the persona that he... And, yes. uh, Joel Silver connection uh, to Morton Downey Jr. He was also in an episode of Tales from the Crypt, the TV show, where he... It's a, like a found footage thing where he takes uh, the show into a haunted house. Oh, Yeah. You know, I'm surprised there wasn't more explosions in this for Joel Silver being a producer. Was too, to like, be honest, there yeah. was a disappointing lack of giant explosions for him having glass. his name. A lot of broken glass. Yeah, it's but like, Demolition Man had one of the biggest fucking explosions <laughs> I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> this had, you know. This had the car at the beginning and then yeah. a couple buildings or uh, blown out windows. Yeah, that's it, though. <sighs> Not really. Any- a lot sc- of gunfire. The scope of this movie is very small. Like, the. the the scope in which things happen, like even though it is LA, it's it's in pockets of LA. You yeah. know, like this mm. movie's very contained 
and where yeah. the the action there's happens. There's no mass hysteria. Yeah. No, there's no like yeah. citywide threat. It's yeah. pretty much just following the cops. Yeah. On mm-hmm. this one. Yeah, the cops seem to be the only people aware of it. Like if you're not in the drug world, you yeah, won't, you're you fine. Know. You won't know. And you wouldn't know an invisible well, man is running around killing people. Yeah, but uh, I mean. And this brings us, I guess, to Kevin Peter Hall, who's now played mm. the Predator twice. But as the Predator, I mean, like, he reveals something of his character in this, I think, beyond the original movie. What, what, what do we know about the Predator himself? And uh, He's from a different planet. If it bleeds, yeah. we can kill it. Yeah. But I mean, <laughs> like, specifically, like... Baby. He's a hunter. They hunt for sport, yeah. apparently. Yeah, just like we do. He's a collector mm-hmm. of yeah. trophies. As uh, shown, I mean, even in the first one, but especially in this one. Yeah. And here was the big connection that we see in this one. Although I do think the comic came out before this movie. I don't the alien think so. Versus, I no? think they did it because the because of the alien skull in the trophy case. You think so? Movie. It came from yeah. that? Okay. Yeah. I love that. I lo- it's like, great. I love that part of this movie. It's we'll great. get to it later, but like yeah. the ending of this movie is is redeems a lot of its flaws, it, I think. It, I, it did pick up that last, like half hour because it does get long when we get into the last part but that last half hour I think redeems a lot of maybe slowness in the beginning of the mm-hmm. movie because it goes long. into like hardcore action mo- mode from it really the, does. Uh, the train scene following Danny's funeral the train scene kicks it off for like 45 minutes of straight ahead yeah, yeah. like barreling forward hardcore it- F-bomb filled. Yeah. Blood and gore. It spends action. way too much time on like LA gang wars that just aren't that interesting in the context they of this movie. No. What? No, Jamaican that's not. I'm not. Posse I'm, trying to steal people's souls. Yeah. I'm not here for that. Yeah. Not, not here for that. No, not trying to steal people's souls. They said it was a scare tactic. They yeah. weren't trying to do shit. Very true. Yeah. But the opening scene of like that shootout in the street went on for way too long. Way too like, long. Like that could have been cut back a yeah. good five minutes. But that was their big like shoot them up. Action set piece. I mean, uh-huh. I think it's the biggest one of the movie. Like, there's a lot of bullets. Like, yeah, right off the bat. Yeah, but you like, compare hey, that to the is. original Predator. The original Predator is a lot of them just walking through mm-hmm. the jungle. It's very you true. know, until you get uh, until yeah, it's all yeah up, right? exactly. Yeah. And that's what I like about the original one compared to this one. Aside from this one, isn't it kind of? I guess it's not really building up to a big thing because you see they're building up to a confrontation with the predator in the first no, one they because bu- it's a no. mysterious thing. They build up to the the they're going after the cabinet ministers well, that have been so they're the yeah. fort or whatever. Yeah, yeah. At That's that, their at that big point. action moment in the first movie. Right. That they're all kind of like edging towards. But after that, it's also that there's yeah. Then the more, predator starts. But it's the predator. But it's also like the. You don't exactly know fully what the Predator is until later on in that movie. I mean, in this movie, first of all, you're going into it knowing that what the Predator is mm. and that he's in Los Angeles. And you get more uh, a better look at him throughout the movie leading up to the end where you get a fuller reveal. So you see him more. You you, get a he's more look? of a presence than the first one. Uh, and, like, I was kind of surprised to find out that the actor in this movie was the same one that did Predator in the first one because I thought his like body acting was not as good in this one as it was mm. in the first one. There were some parts that seemed a little cheesy and a when little overdone. When he's coming after uh, <laughs> King <laughs> Lily in the 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 alleyway, yeah. mm-hmm. he's just kind of walking. Like mm-hmm. whoever was in the camouflage suit is like, there's no acting to it. You know, was there's it, no was Predator it John Claude See, I hated this. <laughs> I hated the parts when he was like crouched down and like moving his arms too much. You know, like I'm sorry, guys, I'm doing it in this. <laughs> It live right now, but like he's like crouched down looking at his eyes. It's too, it's almost too much movement, mm-hmm. you know. Like, um, it's like, what am I? Yeah, what is this? Like, it's very, yeah, if you listen to any interviews with Kane Hodder, who has played Jason more than anyone in film history, he talks about how like he makes subtle choices. Like, his choices with Jason are like he breathes really hard, so you see the chest move up and down. And his other thing yeah. he does is that he turns his head first before he turns his body. And it, you can always, once you know those two things, you can always tell when it's Kane Hodder mm-hmm. versus someone else playing Jason. And those are two really simple choices that make a yeah. huge difference. And I feel like this actor did not ever put that much. Yeah, did he ever into get it. into the mindset yeah. of being the predator? It's a, no. it's yeah. a good question. I don't know. It's- I don't know. It felt like it was a much more kind of one on one thing in the first one. So you kind of get to see him um, kind of unfurling, you know, like presenting in that movie. I don't think well, he gets that opportunity in this one, really. No, but I, I guess I, you know, on what you were saying earlier, they did from a directorial point of view. And I guess the movie was written by the same uh, two brothers, Jim yes. and John Thomas, who wrote yeah. the first one. Um even though you you know it assumes that you've seen the first movie, it reveals the predator the same way that the first movie does. It's like we're you know you've seen the the creature yeah. already. 
you know, two years ago or three years ago. And now we're going to do that same thing where he's camouflaged for like the first half of it or at least, you know, half hour. Yeah. And then you get to see like a hand here, or, you know, a piece reflection of, of here, the technology. Yeah. yeah. Until the final spears reveal whatnot. of what the creature actually looks like during the uh, whatever was the last half hour of the movie. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But, you know, you were talking about like the that the predator is only seen by the people in the gang wars and the cops. But this predator, which I guess is maybe a distinction from the predator in the original, the idea in the original movie being that he's the ultimate hunter Mm -hmm. and they go on these big game safaris to these planets where it's hot and where there's a lot of conflict and sneak around and, you know, camouflage. So you can blend in with the environment and pick people off one by one and challenge find out who's the strongest and that's the the biggest trophy yeah but in this one like this guy is jumping into crowds of people yeah and taking them all on which made me wonder because at the end you know a shotgun is able to do uh damage to him but before that he's being shot at by like all the commuters on a uh, mm-hmm. uh an underground train yeah you know there's like Tons of gangsters shooting at him, but how come they don't hit him? Yeah, it almost because yeah. yeah, you, you got to imagine like somebody would hit him at that point, especially when they're yeah, spraying like, machine gun bullets in at the, him. All in the, the train, place. Bill Paxton is shooting at him head right on, at like him. Yeah. right yeah, it's at just him. Like, yeah. is he wearing some other yeah. armor that we're not seeing? Because from what I know, he's not. Like, what's what's happening there? Yeah, he wears a net on his chest. Yeah, that's basically fishnets. It. He has like a yeah, fishnet yeah, fish body fish suit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> basically, but somehow because he's camouflaged, he's just you know dodging right. bullets yeah, yeah. It yeah. Doesn't, uh, he is kind of right there for you to uh-huh. shoot yeah. and the camouflage isn't working for him too well because everyone yeah. can pretty much pick him out <laughs> and i guess it's better in the jungle than it is on the the urban jungle as it were right los angeles is. i think sean i think you like sequels set in la because you know we did escape LA. from la and now we're doing predator like the opening to this movie was LA. very similar do, to the opening much. of escape from la <laughs> you know I, I like a movie set in la i'm all for that you give me la a PD, future movie I'm in, in la you give me a movie that's <laughs> about movies in la i'm in yes well, in LA. talking about the opening of this movie, I remember I took a date. I think it was our first date. Now, granted, we had worked together, so we knew each okay. other. And All we right. worked in a movie Story theater, time. so this wasn't like, you know. <laughs> but we went to a, you know, it was like, you want to do something? And let's go see the movies. And we're going to go to a double feature. And so the first movie that we saw was Three Men and a Little Lady. And the way that this worked out. Which opened at the same weekend of this It did. Just movie. talking about this earlier. We, we were. We were. We ended up going, like, however the show times worked. It was basically <laughs> the credits started rolling on Three Men and a Little Lady. It was like, we got to get over to the Predator So, wait, two. wait. You and say double feature. In. Did you just go to one movie well, and we then worked just walk at the over? Theater, okay. So, you could do that. I was wondering. But we walked over into <laughs> Predator 2, and it was, like, right at the very beginning. And it was like, this was the biggest culture shock <laughs> that like, you could possibly imagine <laughs> I bet. Of, wow. I mean, man. Yeah. <laughs> Especially if you're walking in that opening scene. Jesus. Yeah. 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 I mean, because just... there's no, like, you know, buffer. It's like no. 20th Century Fox, Predator 2. <laughs> a loud, just a loud title. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Predator 2. And then shooting for 10 <laughs> minutes straight. Yeah. An explosion. Like, like, yeah. Just, ah. Yeah. <laughs> fuck you. Oh, no, fuck that... this. You're cutting my dick off and shoving it up my ass. <laughs> Right? It's just like, what can we say? Can we just curse a lot and shoot and fuck it? Let's do it. Well, this That's was the, the attitude. So be, much coke. Before this movie was trimmed down, it was the first movie to ever be rated NC-17. It was. So. They had to cut, they had yeah. cut things out of this so, movie. Wow. You, yeah. You went from Steve Gutenberg to an L.A. gang war. Yeah. 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 All happy, shiny people at the end of yeah. the other one. They're like, what the fuck have we walked into? It's funny you mentioned that. because this. So this movie op- did not have a pick a great opening weekend to open. It opened at number four. Up against Dances with Wolves, Three Men and a Little Lady, and Colin's Freak Show favorite, Home Alone. Uh, <laughs> really? Yeah, because it came out in November of 1990. Jesus. Wow. It okay. opened at number four. It's opening weekend. What That's not time, great. What a time to be alive. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh my imagine god. that quadruple feature. Oh my god. I Dances with Wolves, so three hours of your life. Yeah. <laughs> right when nobody gave a shit, you just be like, I'm going to walk to that movie. Yeah. Yeah. Just well, people still do that. Yeah. So the other thing about his character, what else we know about him is the Predator's uh, Code of Honor. He does. Yeah. So help me ex- explain so. this to me because there's a gigantic hole in it by the time we get to the end of the movie. But what what do we know about the Predator's Code of Honor? 
honor in the in the battlefield. Well, if you're, I mean, it seems like if at a certain point, if you're beaten, you're beaten. But he's also like, you won, but I'm also just gonna blow up everything. Like that's his, yeah, that's his code of honor. <laughs> like, all right, you beat me, and I'll give you. Do that. Do you think but. that's like a like a covering his tracks thing though? Like yeah, no one can know I was here, so I'm gonna blow well, everything up. I suppose yeah, like that works. Carrie at the that end. works yeah. because it's go. established by the uh, the you know Gary Busey's <laughs> character that the bomb that he set off in the first movie destroyed the equivalent of 30 city blocks. Did you say 30 or 300? 300. 300. 300. 300. Okay. Yeah. 300 city blocks. So that would take care of any yeah. evidence. Yeah. Because I'm like, he's running across uh, cars in yeah. busy traffic, yeah. mm-hmm. right? And stomping on the roofs and yeah. climbing up buildings and people, are, and, you know, he's running through old ladies' uh, apartments and down hallways and through, yeah. you know, it's like, so but people are seeing up, this. Yeah, but that shit ends up in the Inquirer at this time. Like, alien ran through my living room. <laughs> <laughs> I see that shit every day in the Inquirer. No one's going to believe that old lady. Uh, it's like, yeah, there's a big true. hole in it, but like a pipe exploded. She, and this she's like, this guy with dreads cauterized his wound in my bathroom. Right. Know? <laughs> and they'll just blame that on the voodoo posse. Yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. exactly. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. That's, that shit happens around here. Yeah, no one's gonna believe her, yeah. and everything else is yeah, like. Plus, she'll be she'll be gone in the explosion. Yeah, yeah. Carterizes wounds with drywall from my bathroom. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. The on, his hot plate. on his hot plate, on his space hot plate. <laughs> that's amazing. Well, that's yeah. the other thing we got to talk about. <laughs> How does the, the chemistry work the, for well, Predator? The new, yeah, that and the new additions to Predator oh, technology yeah, his, in this yeah, film. His, okay, uh, but wait, wait, wait. Okay. First of all, code. You know, coming to technology. Oh, it's code of yeah. honor. So yes. code of honor. Yes. Because in the first movie, the only thing that they establish is that uh, if you don't have a weapon, true, he doesn't come after you. Mm-hmm. Yes. But in this one, we also see him uh, show mercy to a child. Mm-hmm. Yes. So he recognizes that this is a, a miniature human. Yes. Yeah. Or With, was it just because he determined that the gun was made of I plastic? I think he determined the gun was made of plastic and not real. Like, I don't I know because can... they really like push yeah. in on that like she's pregnant thing. Like yeah. the yeah, camera but, really pu- yeah. pushes in on that. Well, I th- but I also think like he can he sees it with the gun, but he's also got to recognize that the gun is not real. Like that's got to be the key element it's of both. him not attacking the child. I, yeah, I took it as he was like. I think he can see a, the chemical this is a small elements human. of certain things. He's like, this is a small human, but it has a weapon. But I don't that. think the weapon's real. Right. Like I just think he was very confused. It's a common, yeah, yeah, it's not a normal mm-hmm. thing he crosses yeah. with. Mm-hmm. You know, I obviously he knows that smaller things. Are not a, a threat they're unless not, it's like the baby fair. predator. They're not fair game, <laughs> right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Go after this yeah. Is not no women, challenge. no kids. This is right. like a, the professional well, thing. Yeah, he's playing the most but dangerous he does game, kill right? Old lady with the gun in the uh, in the train. You see it through infrared. Oh, that's very true. He, he does yeah. grab her. Yeah. But she got a gun. Fuck her. Yeah, yeah. So it's it's the baby thing then, because she was pregnant. Yeah, so it's the baby. He's playing the most dangerous game. He's trying to hunt something equally as smart as him. You know. Yeah, that is the whole game. That is you know the hunt. Yeah. It's a thrill of a hunt, yeah. And there's no thrill in it. Because he's, cause he's the predator. Yeah. A hunter. Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's literally in the title. It's literally what it's called. <laughs> but he does have rules. He does have, like you said, a sense of honor. Yeah. Certain things he will not do. Did you know the original title for the first movie was Hunter? And they actually say the title huh. in the movie? Really? In the first one. Say Who says it? Yeah, because he's they like, saying, uh, he's a hunter. No, it's Bill Duke, I think, uh-huh. or after um, Jesse Ventura gets killed or something. Uh-huh. They're like, yeah, like a hunter. Or, you know, that was the line, uh-huh. the title line, and then they changed the title. But in this one, they worked Predator in there. This predator is, can he seize our heat? You know, whatever. thank Gary you. Gary Busey yeah. almost had the most shoehorned line of all <laughs> yeah. time that some screenwriter punched the air when they wrote, but everyone should be ashamed yeah, of. They're just like, fuck yeah, I got to put this in a movie. Yes, <laughs> yes. And uh, I'm sure in like in the 90s slash late 80s, we'd all be very proud to get that in there. It was like, yes. But I feel, yeah, I feel like Predator 2. I feel yeah. like you can feel everyone on set cringing at like while this line is being said, though. Yeah. Like, I feel like that comes through the film that everyone. Like, because you have to for lines like that, you have to say it quick. Because if you just and he drag, doesn't, no, he drags it out. If you drag it out, you're just like, oh, I see it coming. Yeah. <laughs> Lions, tigers, and the bears. bears. Oh, my. oh my! He drags yeah, it out too you gotta, long. Yeah. You, you gotta, gotta get yeah. through that. You yeah. gotta go. Just spit it out and go. Spit it out. Man, yeah. It seems more yeah. like you just thought of it. Like get it out yeah. and fuck off. Yeah. Yes. He Christopher Walken's it. He puts way too many commas in yeah. there. Right. Yeah. The lions. <laughs> and, yeah. yeah. Tigers. <laughs> I want to know how the these guys, the special unit that are hunting the predator, like they are in the first scene, like they tell the cops, 
uh, Hardigan, yeah. uh, Danny Glover's character. Harrigan? Like, Harrigan? Harrigan. Yeah, Hardigan's uh, Sin City. Okay. This uh. They tell him to stand down. I'd watch that Special over. units coming in, but the Predator hasn't actually done anything yet. What do you mean? Don't they come in during the... No, but they radio and say, they say, a special unit's coming in. Like, that was my Ruben Blades impression. Uh, <laughs> Far as good as his, it's fine. Hey, Some special, special unit. unit. Hey, yeah. he's not Italian. <laughs> hey, the special unit's it's yeah. coming in. So he's been, they've been told to stand down, special unit's coming in, yeah. but the Predator hasn't actually... Oh, did they say that before? Yeah, they haven't gone in the building yet. Hmm. Or maybe they do just go in the building, and then it's like, oh, we gotta stand down. Maybe. I don't remember what part you're talking about, dude. <laughs> At the very beginning. Yeah. The very beginning. Yeah. Like, right. before anybody knows that the Predator... Like, this is when, like, the gangs have gone in the building and they're coking up and getting their armory ready and getting ready to shoot out. And then I'm sure something over the radio says, everybody stand down, don't go in. Oh, when That's the dude shoves his face in the coke and he's like, yeah, yeah, this okay. is all before. And okay. wastes a bunch of coke because he's just sitting in his mustache? Yeah, exactly. He, he wastes so, so much coke. It's like, dude... <laughs> Chill out, Scarface. Yeah. Like, are you serious? No, no, he like shoves his face in it and like a shit ton is just sitting in That's his mustache. That's the way we did coke back in the day. That shit's not exactly. cheap. Exactly. That shit's not cheap. You rub it cheap. on yourself. Yeah. It's not so cheap. He did. He's just like. <laughs> <laughs> is he trying to like get high through osmosis? Yes, exactly. <laughs> rub it on my skin yeah. and I'll absorb it. Like balls it. or whatever. Vicks, he just make imagine vapor rub. Colin just like. Covered in coke. I see Colin covered in coke. I like how Holly and I's first thought was he wasted so much of it it's so expensive <laughs> uh, yeah, you can't do we, that. You we're gotta, not drug addicts guys yeah just you know, just, never just done an observation coke in our lives just an observation <laughs> um unlike joel silver producer of this oh, movie. Yeah. Um, yeah. So yeah. everybody who the made this movie 90s, was on coke yeah. all of them did coke yeah guaranteed did this guys, feels like a coke fueled movie if there ever was one yeah you get the beer, yeah. you get the beer. <laughs> <laughs> i mean i'll take it it's yours did you guys like how the predator went from being just just a regular predator to a child predator in this movie. <laughs> like the scene when he was at, uh, th- when the kids running around the cemetery mm-hmm. with the fake gun mm-hmm. and then the predator's like, want some candy? He goes full on Chris Hansen dateline to catch a predator. Like, but wasn't that the kid asking him if he wanted, wanted some candy? candy? Yeah, then yeah, he but asks, then he repeats it back. He repeated he, it to, uh, he, repeat, well, but he, he learns Danny English Glover. in this movie, which I have a huge candy. problem with. Yeah. But it's he just a recording, with, uh, isn't it? He did it in the first movie. He did that with everyone. He, did it, he, he laughed. That was the only thing he said in English in no, the first he movie. Said, he goes, you're an ugly motherfucker. Not in the first one. The first one no, he didn't. Fucker. He didn't say it no, at all. It, the first one. No, but in the, but no, in the first one, he only says, "What the hell are you?" Yeah, he did. But oh, in this, but in this one, he did repeat several people. Yeah, yeah. Not, yes, not, yeah. Not in the first yeah. one, yeah. and that's why I don't like that. I in hate that. The first that. one, his all his recordings were um, different. They were a different pitch. In yeah. this mm-hmm. one, I think they're kind of more just recordings of what people. Had said. I don't like that he finishes one-liners for people. I hate that. that I hate it so much. <laughs> Get it the fuck just, out of this movie. Yeah, that was just, and it was all like, <laughs> all right, this is the day we record the Predator one-liners. Yeah, Get the camera over his face. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so that he can say them because it all cuts back to that. Notice the redesign and the Predator, the significant redesign to the Predator face in close-up only. Yeah, I didn't like it. In f- more fangs. No, it was the fucking big googly eye. Oh, with yeah. the big googly eyes? Yeah, because instead of on the just rather one, yeah, Kevin Peter Hall eyes? Right, yeah. But in the long uh, shots, it is the, the regular eyes. Is it? But whenever they did the full face close-up, like, it's like, what the hell? Kind of, uh, it I was, like, I was uh, more looking at his mouth for some reason. I th- I was too. I thought the way his mandibles folded looked different. Like I yeah. thought they looked his like what? the mandibles, mandibles. Like I thought you said mandibles. No. I really did. <laughs> mandibles. Like, his mandibles <laughs> folded was like, weird. <laughs> But when mandibles fold, it's weird. <laughs> that is weird. <laughs> like the way his mandibles folded, like it didn't look like. I mean, at least the way like I remember, it didn't to the same sh- way. Right. Yeah, it, it looked like different. He had, like he had an overbite, <laughs> or, or like he had too much designed on yeah. it. To yeah, fold it properly. Yeah, like, exactly. What would normally be like yeah. a um, an, a natural design yeah. Mm-hmm. thing. Yeah, yeah. Like oh, we need to. It didn't look fangs. very natural. Yeah, they did. Re- I mean, they did a slight redesign to the monster for this one. Mm-hmm. Stanley's he's, he's a younger one, right? Was well, he's. The idea that this well, is uh, the idea was or? that like you have snakes, right? There's a snake. Yeah. There's a snake, but yeah. there's different versions of snakes. Yeah, the same species, yeah. but like a different, yeah, uh, di- different yeah. colorings, different kind of sizes of the heads. You see that more later on in the movie at the end. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But yeah, it's a different 
person. It's a different mm-hmm. person mm-hmm. as a predator. Which that's a cool idea. I do. I like. Yeah, that. I love it. You I see it later the- in the movies. In the more mm-hmm. movies you see, which I think is a great idea. I like that idea. Yeah. Mm-hmm. The monster, like the monster design in all these movies, like even when it is there's a variation, it's still very similar. Yeah. It's still of the same family, you know. And I think right. that that's the best thing about all these movies across the franchise is the monster design. Definitely, mm-hmm. it's, it it's is. the good it does through get line. Really yeah. Cool. Yeah. It is a classic movie monster. Mm-hmm. It is. Like, yeah. Hands down, one of the best ever. Probably. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It's. I'm glad they got to that. I as considering where they were, as we said last week uh, or the week before, on what the predator looked like All right. before yeah, yeah, Stan yeah, yeah, Winston yeah. came. Oh yeah, yeah. the floppy nightmares. head. Yeah, yeah, the floppy yeah. head, the mm-hmm. lizard-looking thing, the yeah. very stiff. Yeah, mm-hmm. listen to our Giver episode. Uh, sure. Sure. Listen yeah. to Giver. Listen to Bloodsport. <laughs> the Bloodsport <laughs> episode we yeah, talk about it too. Yeah, but, yeah, yeah. But listen to Giver. All right. So, what new technology does the Predator bring to the floor? He's got here? some new toys. Yeah, he's got like a little uh, double-headed spear thing. He shoots from his wrist or from somewhere on his body. Did he have that in the first one? No, he no. didn't. He just had the laser cannon. Just the laser cannon and the uh, claws. Yeah, the Wolverine claws. That's it. But this, he's got a net. That he's got like, a net. Which is cool. Can which, kill people because yes. it contracts. Where does the neck come from? Uh, his wrist. His wrist. Yeah, he's just shooting. Like a web shoot shooter? From, yeah, like a web shoot shooter. Oh, my God. Somebody is just <laughs> in a headspace right now, and you need to take care of that sorry. before you continue on talking about the Predator. I'm sorry. Thank you. But it is. But like a, a web, web shooter, shooter, he shoots it out of his... Uh, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> he, he shoots it out of his Thank arm. You. Yeah. He's also got uh, a spear. That's yep, his biggest the expandable spear. The expandable spear, which I think is pretty cool. Telescoping spear? That's better. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. telescoping, telescoping spear. spear. He's got a sweet hot plate. <laughs> Don't forget about sweet the hot, hot plate. plate. He's got more his uh, little, in his medical kit. He's got yeah. more things. Death frisbee. Yeah, yeah. Death he, frisbee. Had a, he had a medical kit in the first one, right? He did. Yeah, I remember he did. cracking open yeah, he's bottles. Fix his yep. leg. Do you ever wonder. All the time. Who <laughs> makes <laughs> the Predator gizmos? Like all of their technology. some prop factory. No, no, no. Yeah. Like in the predator world. Like in the predator world. Oh, well, oh, I imagine. I imagine there is a predator gander mountain that you go to, and you say, "I'm going to go hunting," <gasps> yeah. and you, oh, you'd be like, "I want real. this gun. I want this." You know, I like because that's what he's doing, right? He's going hunting. Right. Yeah. Like like how we go deer hunting. So uh-huh. I imagine he goes to his gander mountain, MC Sports, whatever, Dick Sporting Goods, whatever. <laughs> you know. Yeah. It's, this it's, episode brought just, to you by uh, Gander Mountain. <laughs> the only thing missing in this movie is a Predator gear up scene. Yes. Yeah. Oh, I would love his it. Wall of yeah. stuff. Oh, and picking got, this because yeah. they have everybody else. Doing everybody that else does it in this movie. Yeah. yeah. Or and in every it, movie of the eighties and nineties. Show 90s, it to me. I want to see movie. Predator Gander the Mountain predator with other predators in polos and khaki pants. Yeah. I want to see it. And then be like, you know, bro, you should really go with this one. Yeah. Trying to like upsell him into better gear. Yes. Yeah. Well, the telescope. Tommy Spear is good, but we do have the shoulder-mounted laser shooters. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. like that. But like with their fingers, and can sale. they actually make this? That's a, they're like Articul- I don't know. Are they yeah. articulate enough? Because they seem to have trouble articulating the shit. In right, both they have movies. large fingernails, and especially when he's like trying to press the button. Yeah, this thing it's just like, like that's sh- not. Do they steal all this? Right, there's no. There's but then no... you still have to get interstellar travel so you can find a species that yes. you can steal all this stuff from. I'm sure or get them to make it for you. I think there's. Colin, there are versions of the Predator we have not seen yet. I know. There are yeah. the the worker Predators. There are the, they're the uh, <laughs> right. you know, the, the factory predator. worker There's Predators. There's blue-collar Predators. There's blue-collar yeah. Predators yeah. in this movie Ooh, who have there, short is, fingernails. Is, Mama Predator. There's build a Predator stuff. Union. There are knitting There's Predators. There's a Predator Union. I was going to say, is there a blue-collar Predator comedy tour as well, do you think? Like, wow. there's. Yes. <laughs> I don't think they, they have no humor on that. Uh, yeah. Was, can you? Oh, Jesus. Wow. We're breaking down the yeah. kind of the mythos of the Predator at this point. Just like. Like, ah. As we saw in 2010 Predators, though, they do have hunting dogs. What? You know, do, yeah. yeah. Watch this again. You I haven't saw seen Predators? 2010 I Predators? The theater and they have hunting sex. dogs. Have hunting that dogs. was a huge oh, part of shit. that movie. Which I don't like. I, I, don't I like, like it. I, I think don't like, it makes sense. We use dogs for hunting. Why wouldn't they? I agree that the whole the concept makes sense. I don't like. <laughs> we're already dealing with a. I think your focus needs to be on the Predator in these movies. Mm-hmm. And I think if you're. Adding that many different things to kind of like the aliens of it all, yeah. like I think you're taking away from the predator at that point. Well, I mean they're very conspicuous, and yeah. like his whole thing is he's stealthy and invisible, right? Yeah. So why would you use dogs? Because dogs are planet. so obvious. Yeah. You know, plus, dogs draw a lot yeah. of attention no, to themselves. They don't have <laughs> their own thermoptic camouflage. No, 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 they're not there's, invisible. There's, they're literally no. just alien dogs. That's uh, all they and are. Then you look at them, and there's no like POV or anything like yeah. that. So I, I mean, I don't for this. 
for this character, I like just kind of focusing on him and kind the of the differences. Journey. The differences we see in the different predators, because mm-hmm. even predators, mm-hmm. I like because that's when they kind of go like run the gamut of the different versions of them. That we yeah, have. which we, we get the predator who like controls the dogs and he mm-hmm. uses that in his hunt. Mm-hmm. We also get like the super predators and everything, different colorations and everything. Um, the trophies they c- uh, collect and everything. He's yeah. got his mask, but he's also got like the jawbone of something that he's mm-hmm. killed before on it. It's very tribal. Mm. Uh, they they kind of do a bunch of different variations on that, plus the classic Predator. Yeah, movie. which if you if you do watch 2010 Predators, which I recommend you do, but um, the Seven guy, years. the oh, actor geez. that plays cl- classic Predator is Derek, Derek Mears, Mears mm-hmm. who, full circle guys, played Jason in the Friday the 13th remake. He did. And kick puncher. Yeah, he's he, and before. kick puncher in community. <laughs> yeah, he's a real, yeah, before. yeah. He does a lot of conventions. If you ever get the chance yep. to meet him, please do. He's a great guy. He's he loves meeting people, but he's done a lot of great like modern monster acting. He's a good guy. Mm-hmm. He, he was in me. yeah mm-hmm. Hansel and Gretel with Cheddar. Okay, so <laughs> yes, that's what we all know him from. We all need to make uh, money, Colin. Yeah. <laughs> so sometimes we play. What did he play in Grand Hansel and Gretel? I don't know. It was a Pro- ogre or something. <laughs> Yeah. Right. yeah, that's fine. I didn't see that. So the predators no, I, come to the <laughs> table with a whole bunch of new stuff, including the bo- the the razor boomerang, which plays into the end of the movie. Mm, very much. Is that the but death frisbee? The death frisbee. I like frisbee. Yes. frisbee. I like Ra- death razor frisbee. boomerang. Yeah. I, I like death frisbee better. Yeah. yeah. So, but this is, I guess, where I came back to the whole thing of like the code that he has is like protecting, or you know, I'm not gonna kill a defenseless kid. I'm not gonna kill a pregnant woman. I'm just going to blow them all up at the end when I detonate my... Like, he sure. knows that that's the... If he is defeated, I guess, right? right? Otherwise, he'd just get in his ship and... Yeah. Back it's to like Predator Homeworld. We've point. seen Predator Homeworld and AVP. Or yes. AVP we saw a very, very quick glimpse of Predator Homeworld. So one of them gets a like a, a distress call, hops in a ship, and jets off. That is the... I that's think Predator the, 2. Did AVP we see it in Predators 2010? Right? I think so. No, what, no. what was the planet they were on in Predators? It was, was that it was like a, another in, hunting planet? Yeah, it was yeah. another okay. hunting planet. No, we get a very brief glimpse of Predator Planet in part one or part two. I don't know of AVP. It feels like it was. I think it's part two. It's probably part two. I've only seen it on YouTube because yeah. I refuse. I didn't watch part two. I don't think either one of those is very good. Well, I they fuck with the whole yeah. like mythology yeah, of there's the a Predators. Whole thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Let's. Which I, is which is unfortunate because right now that would be a great way to go. Because, like, versus movies are very in right now. There's a really you know? cool comic book that was put out by, I think that was the one you were talking about yeah. earlier, from Dark Horse. Yeah, Dark Horse. And then the guy who did that wrote a screenplay, which was based on it, which I have, which was, like, that's a pretty good Alien versus Predator story. Yeah. And, yeah, they went with Paul W.S. Anderson's oh, version. Oh, yeah. yeah. But fuck all that. Oh, no, no. They find the pyramid that guy. In the Arctic and yeah. It completely destroys the mythology of both Alien and Predator. And it does. Fell swoop. Mm-hmm. Fuck all that. <laughs> I will take the Alien vs. Predator video game any day of the week. Anybody yeah. else play this game? Yeah, It was sure. the best. That's a yeah. great game. It's a great game, Colin. Yeah. I think you're worth it's it. It's a good I'm time. Not, did, what? That was the best, the best version of Alien vs. Predator <laughs> you're going to get. Fuck yeah, the movies. Definitely. Uh, that was it. Uh. Mm-hmm. There you go. All right. Where are we at now with the uh, Predator series? Uh, Shane Black. Funny you ask. (laughs) It's it's almost like I planned it. Well, Shane Black, who was in the original Predator, Mm -hmm. uh, is writing. And, no, he's co-writing with Fred Decker. Yeah. Fred Decker's director. Of Monster Squad. Yeah. And uh, Night of the Creeps, which we just did a couple of weeks. And so those two are writing, and Shane Black is directing The Predator. Mm Mm-hmm. The cast, okay, the cast in this movie, oh, wait, all one except for one person I am super jazzed about. So we've got Yvonne Strahovski from Dexter, mm-hmm. uh, Boyd Holbrook from Logan, which like I'm Boyd super, Hol- yeah. super yeah. excited for. Olivia Munn, like, that's the one oh, I'm not excited yeah. no, That's the one I have a problem with. Yeah, but she was um, oh, coming off on. of an X-Men here's, movie, right? Here's my so problem. What's your problem with Olivia Munn? Okay. She she was on Attack of the That's Show. A problem, Colin. Oh, sorry. She was on Attack of the Show for she a long time. She was on Attack of the Show. And after she was not on Attack of the Show, she talked about how much she hated having this like nerd narrative forced on her because ah, she didn't actually like any yeah, of that she stuff. Was an actress and she was like, a... they kept forcing her to be like a nerd uh-huh. girl and be into Star Wars and be into nerd stuff. And she said what? she doesn't like any of that. What? Stay out of my nerd movies, then. Get out of my Predator well, movie if you hate this stuff. Also, though, right. But that's also what made her. Exactly. And she hates. That's why I don't like her. And I get it, but. 
you deciding to go along with it because it exactly. would help you as well. Exactly. Don't shoot it down. Don't but Catherine now, Heigl the shit. But now that you're out of Attack of the Show, you're still doing nerd stuff. Mm-hmm. So yeah. that's you're my problem. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. That's, yeah. My that's my problem with her. Into that. Yeah. You're in yeah. Magic Mike. No, she, she has no problem cashing the checks, but she doesn't want to be associated with it. That's my problem with that's it. That's lame. Um, Jacob Tremblay from Room. Oh, yeah. The yep. kid. The, the kid. kid. Yeah, yeah. The, the kid. kid. Uh, Thomas Jane. Oh, Alfie Allen really? from Game of Thrones. Uh, okay. Jake Busey. Son oh, yeah. of Jake Gary Busey. Busey. Oh. Who is Jake Busey cast as? J- Gary Busey's son. Yes, yeah. from, yeah. Predator yeah. Two. from Predator 2. Keegan Michael I, Key. Yeah. Oh, Which is going to be great. I, I thought, thought, yeah. Yeah. Is it, I thought you were saying that was. I, yeah, I thought you were Peter saying Keys? that was Gary Busey's no, 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 son. No, 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 I'm like, wow, that's weird. No, yeah. uh, Edward James Olmos. Yeah, he Trevante oh, Rhodes from Moonlight. Oh yeah, no? oh, yeah. shit. And uh, that's about Paul Lazenby, and that's about it for right now. They're saying but, um, all the right words. Solid, it's a very yeah, solid really. cast. Solid yeah. yeah. Mm. Plus, plus writing. Pl- I mean, uh, as I, far as the writing between uh, Fred Decker and Shane Black. Oh, yeah, it'll be great. Kinda, it'll well, be great. I'm kind of uh, all right. Um, did you like that, the nice guys? I did I like the nice guys. I, nice I love the nice guys. We all love like the nice guys. So, yeah. I'm so black. I'm all for When Fred Decker gets involved, is that's where I'm. Was House? You remember House? I didn't watch House with you guys. Also, Squad Night of the Creeps. Monster Squad Night of the Creeps. I'm like. Cop 3. Uh, yeah, you name three things that are a little like for their time, probably yeah. great. And I do enjoy those movies uh, on uh, varying levels, but uh, you're selling, you're you're selling me more with nice guys. Yeah, but yeah, nice guy, but I'm all I'm in the sh- I'm definitely in the Shane Black camp. Yeah, this is, yeah. Gonna, be, Decker, this is like, gonna be Iron Man three Shane Black, not nice guys Shane. Black. Oh fuck! Well, don't, don't say that. Like don't say that. The right things <laughs> saying, well, I know, but God damn it! Ugh. Yeah, that's blockbuster Shane Black, and this is gonna be a huge movie because they're trying yep. to you know like yeah. this has got to lead off the Predator universe. I'm yeah. sure. Yeah, yeah. this so, is that yeah movie. Yeah. yeah, the cast though phenomenal. Pretty oh, yeah. much, pretty yeah. much head to top is yeah. you know. Phenomenal! I, I, I'm, 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 I'm on board, 100. Mm-hmm. percent I'm curious oh. to see what they do. I mean, yeah. I enjoyed the uh, what was the the 2010 one, the predator, uh, predators. Yeah, Adrian Brody's just not an action guy. That's it's the problem with that great. movie. Who's yeah. it directed by Nimrod and Tell? Yeah, yes, uh, yep. Produced by Robert, Robert Rodriguez, Rodriguez and everything. Yeah. It's not, a, it's not a bad movie. Like I enjoyed it. I remember having a problem with Topher Grace. Is Danny? Uh, See, Grace he was not the problem I had. Yeah. He was Grace accurately I like. cast. I thought, like, he was a Walton sniveling, Goggins whiny bitch. Too. Walter Goggins was fantastic yeah, in that. Yeah. He was like a I shitty prisoner. Topher Grace, I wasn't a fan of in that movie. See, I wasn't a I'm fan not, of. I think were you, I think I saw, were you not a fan of him or the character? No. Uh, him, because I okay. think I said after that movie, let's not have Topher Grace act anymore. <laughs> I, I felt I the same that way. Statement. Big Grinch was yeah. that, and I think it was uh, Interstellar. Oh, yeah, yeah. Inter- I'm just like, what about Spider Man? We don't. Hello. Well, Spider Man. Yeah. Like, yeah. I'm like, we don't need him to act. Like, he yeah. doesn't no. need to do things no, anymore. Walter, Walter Goggins was great, though. Well, yeah. Um, the little bit that Lawrence Fishburne was in it was fine. Uh, you know, yeah, he was the, the crazy. two seconds he was in it. Yeah. Um, was Trejo in it? No. Yeah, well, yeah briefly, yeah, okay, I think, yeah. yeah. There was um, a, yeah mm-hmm. Michelle Rodriguez was in it. Like you, mm, yeah? I disagree yeah. with that. Michelle Let's Rodriguez was not this. in this movie. In Predators? 2010? Yeah. No, she was not in it. I will... I'll bet my beard on it. We will fact check this. I will bet my beard on it. Beard? Serious? Wait, this is a serious bet? I'll bet your beard on it. Michaela's looking at it. Pinky swearing. He's going to shave the beard if he loses. I'll bet Michelle Rodriguez is not in that movie. She was in Machete. Listeners, you should know that Sean's beard is quite majestic. Oh, yeah. It's quite majestic. It's very long. It's as long as the mustache going to. Everything will go. All right. I will be clean shaven if Michelle Rodriguez is in that. In oh, Predators. you look so weird with baby face. I, exactly. It's so it's weird. It's too bad that Michaela also didn't put something up, but okay. Yeah, we're, Mahershala we're... Ali was apparently in that movie. Did not know that. What? Yeah. Really? You are correct. Alice Braga? Yes. She's oh, the don't know who that yes. is. Yeah, I don't know who that is. She was in uh, I Am Legend, I think. Wasn't that her? I don't remember. Sure. If someone other than Will Smith All was I in know that movie. Is, <laughs> is the beard is safe. Yeah, the beard is safe. Yeah. <laughs> the beard is safe. <laughs> Yeah, you. Well the done. Well done. Time. You win. The yeah. beard lives on. Yeah. yeah. All right. Well, I know yeah. we've kind of lollygagged our way through uh, I mean, the whole conversation about Predator Two. Do we even? Do we talk about the last forty-five minutes of the movie? No. Oh, like the, the, yeah, we should. We should talk about the that back, a little bit. Like probably. the action-packed version of this movie. Like we end up back at the uh, uh, was the slaughterhouse, the slaughterhouse district of L.A. Because there is one apparently where we get the aliens, the scene crib from the aliens. Crib, <laughs> word for word, almost from <laughs> aliens. Get them out of there. Yeah, they're coming yeah. up behind you. Get them out. And then just people stare at the screens blankly, like. They're coming in. 
don't know what to do. Yep. They're all dead. They're yeah. all dead. It's crazy. It's brilliant. Apparently, this is also the scenes where, um, I forgot her name, from the first movie. Yeah, played, she's on the Anna, monitor. She's on the monitor, but I also think she shot some very minor scenes for this movie. Well, I was like, when did they get like a mug shot of her? I think they you know, shot they brought some... her in for him and couldn't get Arnold Schwarzenegger because I assumed yeah. he would have been there also. Yeah, Arnold Schwarzenegger, yeah, didn't show up. But I think she was in some you know, scenes. Yeah. She shot some scenes for this movie, I think. But this is where, like, we get this is where Gary Busey, like, he shows up every now and again throughout the movie, but this is when we get full Busey. <laughs> Almost full Busey. He's not, like, crazy in this movie, but he's this not is when a ginger he's, dead man. No. He's angry in this part. He's, he's angry, angry, and Busey. he's, uh, yeah, this is where he finally, like, jumps in as and explains what he's doing. Like, they know of the Predator at this point, they know what he does. They followed him since, like, 10 years earlier is when the Arnold Schwarzenegger ha- uh, incident happened. And apparently they've been tracking him since then. And, mm-hmm. um, which was leads, a pretty good debrief, I guess. I guess so. And this was like the exposition dump at this point. I also wonder, like, if this is, like, how did they start tracking this predator? Obviously, it's a different one. And does this happen often? Like, how often does a predator <laughs> come to the planet Earth? There's a hundred of them on that fucking ship at <laughs> there the end. a lot. Like, that's why I'm like, okay, so this is the ship that brought them to Earth. Are they yeah. all out hunting? Or they're all just hanging there while Junior <laughs> Predator goes off into the city and does his thing? I think it's Junior Predator. Because all the other ones on that ship look experienced, especially like. How do you look like an experienced predator? Because, they're like all, they're his, costuming. His dreadlocks yeah. are like trophies. Are, yeah. are first of all graying. They have more complicated helmets. I did not notice yeah. that. He's the also elder got, one. Is, he's the elder predator. He's also got the gun from 1715. He's got a, uh, yeah, a sword, that. like a pirate sword from that point. Like mm-hmm. You base it on like the trophies they've collected over the years from the warriors they've defeated. Because they're hunters, so they defeat their warriors and they kind of take up what So they was had. this like his first mission as a predator? I think the young, the, the young, I think, yeah, yeah, I think yeah, that's true. what's implied. That, well, I mean, he fucked up. Right, yeah. you can that to him being reckless and just running through traffic and everything. Yeah, like, yeah, The fact definitely. that he's doing all that right. makes sense if he, if this is his first time. Right, out. and uh, I realize that's us writing this movie at that point. Yeah, it is. Yeah. A lot, but I'm all, if it makes sense, I'm all right with it because it, it kind of works in with the all the older predators who show up. Uh, Danny Glover kills the predator he's been chasing this whole time, and the because of their sense of honor, the, inside all the, the ship, other, inside the ship, they finally get back where, to the, where we see the skull trophy of all the skulls. Right. Yeah, yeah, the, all the skulls, the alien skull shows up, a T Rex skull shows up. So they've been. I doing actually this for really a long liked time. the set design. Oh, it's this is yeah. this seriously like this scene makes this whole movie worth it. Looks it. like a like, Contra video game. Oh, it, it does. Yeah. It yeah. does. That's what it makes me feel like. Oh, Contra. Uh, of the glowing Contra. walls, yes. of the <laughs> pulsating. Glow, yes, yeah. exactly. I thought oh, like the aliens. whole movie was like had a fantastic production design. Oh, from, like, for sure. Oh, yeah. looking. It feels expensive. Yeah. Yeah. in the yeah. the drug cartel. Yeah, whatever, yeah, yeah. Uh, the, the penthouse apartment. Yeah, yeah, that was really nice. Yeah. And the, I mean, even the meat packing plant. Just yeah. the the way that that shot with the radioactive dust or whatever yeah. they got in here and the I, whoever ultraviolet design and the, they were having yeah. fun throughout this movie and swimming in money. It feels like yeah. The first one did really good. Give them all the money. Mm-hmm. They'll design some shit. It's amazing how but often meatpacking companies come up in movies, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> that's the only wanna, reason like, they exist anymore, right? It's just be movie right, sets. Is, but that's great set designs. Like, what's better than hanging meat? Uh-huh. And you have to move through that shit or beat it up, whichever yeah. movie you're shooting. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Either uh, way, it's suspenseful, you know? Yeah, exactly. But, uh, I mean, but we get the end with uh, Gary Busey. I mean, I mean Gary Busey re- uh, uh, comes to a very uh, unceremonious end. You mean his top half goes missing? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, it like, pours blood out. for like a minute after the bottom half is dropped. But where yeah. did it go? Uh, it's still know. hanging there. Why is we it know. hanging? Uh, I just remember the TV cut like I never knew what happened to this man. Yeah. I was shocked. <laughs> Nobody was Shocked knows. when I saw this for the first time where we saw the whole thing and there was mm-hmm. just a bucket of blood that drops down. I mean, yeah, no, the blood's great. I just, where's the top half? We don't right. know. It's gone. <laughs> I imagine it it's was hit so hard it spun off. It would have made more sense if he had like punched him or like whatever and like had him up on a meat hook and then cut him in half. I don't know. That would have made so much more sense. He's literally standing in meat hooks. <laughs> Don't know. That's Missed opportunity, idea. right? Yeah, yeah. They didn't take advantage of the set. Better. He's trying to do something with that CO2 gun, and he accidentally gets hooked on something. the... He's holding on to it, yeah. and the predator throws right. the Surrounded by meat in. hooks, there and they go. didn't take that <laughs> shot. Yeah. I don't understand I why. Do it. It's not a bad idea. Oh, Gary Busey. Mm-hmm. I look forward to seeing your son in the movie. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. So a bunch of other predators walk in. Yeah, a bunch of other Take out that predator's dead body. 
Tusk. Ceremoniously. It Tusk. is. Like, Dan- yeah. We'll get back to the sense it of is, honor yeah. of predators. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because Danny Glover is still very much alive. He has defeated the predator that he's been facing. And the other ones just walk in and be like, all right, good game. You and won. pick up the body and carry him More off. honorable. They pick him up, carry him off, and then he tosses Toss him, him. The 1715 yeah. gun. gun. When he's, when he's I think surra- it's from a slave ship, which is why he yeah. tossed it to him. Yeah. When he's surrounded by the predator elders is the moment I was like, just say the goddamn line. Yeah, just say I'm too old for this <laughs> shit. Yeah. It's just a different it. franchise. It, but it felt like they were teeing it that did, up. It you did. know, And they didn't knock it's it like, down. Yeah. It. You can say it now. Yeah. I'm okay with it. This is it. Like him just be like, oh. go there. Predator 2 is classier than that. Because like you could tell he was just like, he, like, once he killed that predator he thought it was over with sure so once he's all show up there's a perfect opportunity to be like oh fuck kind I of did, moment you I know? did appreciate that moment though, where he just like throws the death frisbee down he's like who's next just yeah. like fuck yeah, it just, whatever yeah. this is it it's like well there's 20 of them I'm not living through this yeah. but what a yeah. fucking mic drop of a moment to have all these predators show up and like you'd be like oh he's so fucked and then yeah. just have him pick up this body and walk out I like out. that moment it's such yeah, a I great like, moment I, I do it, it It just adds to the fact that they are you know they are hunters but they do have that honor to them it's mm-hmm, just mm-hmm. it's not uh, a meaningless just killing spree is what they're for like, right. there is something to them and I think that it elevates like the predator character I think a little mm-hmm. bit rather than him just being a senseless killing monster yeah. it gives a little more to them and as I do like that as long as we don't over explain it in a future movie and he's like oh, <laughs> out of it because that's what right. makes you intrigued is the fact that they right. haven't over explained yes. that mm-hmm. yeah. culture. You haven't over explained yeah. it. You get little bits of it. You get you get that alien head. You get the trophy case and you get their sense of honor and then you just walk away. And from that's it. what that's I it. loved about the scene is that there was no dialogue explaining any of that. Yeah. It was all show don't tell. Yeah. You know, um, whereas like my biggest issues with the earlier parts of this movie was how much the predator was like, you know, speaking quote unquote mm-hmm. speaking you know like I would have hated it if dialogue had entered the scene at all no I don't need that just just show don't tell yeah you yeah, know I'm glad he doesn't talk a lot yeah it would be awful if he did don't do that unless in future movies yeah, unless future movie makers shit happened yeah. or motherfucker <laughs> even still I hate that yeah, don't let not, him I don't want him to like deliver the one liners I no, don't want yeah, them to come from him it's not a one liner yeah, thing no, a, leave that for no. Schwarzenegger yeah it's like him making fun of us somehow by using our, our vulgar language when however they talk yeah. is in like or yeah. whatever. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. If my, that's cat, him my cat speaking, makes that same noise. That, yeah. What does Predator actual dialogue sound like? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Some kind of T Rex. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we never like heard them talk. That about sound that. at the beginning of the squeal. I don't know what the fuck it is. Yeah. 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 I think that's it. I think that's <laughs> All right, that's it. <laughs> right, now I think we've reached <laughs> the end of Predator Well, what 2. we're going to do, we're going to go around and you're going to hear reviews from all of us on what we thought of Predator 2. And sometimes, I mean, this is where the suspense kicks into this show, folks, because you never know what people are going to say. Right. Maybe I hate it. Maybe. I maybe. Hate this maybe Sean brought the movie I brought here, things here and that says, I don't like. That's happened. Sean does happened. treat this like therapy sometimes. It is. So, yeah. you know, like, yeah. I don't like this. I just wanted to make you all watch it. <laughs> I, think I don't was, have shit to work through. I, have we all brought a movie we didn't like at some point? I think so. I, I think sure. we have. I just to do it, and then you're like, you know what? Yeah, it's, it's yeah. I think so. Just like I think so. Yeah. Um, but, uh, before that, we're going to get to mail and that means we're going to have to summon our mailman, Igor, Igor, where are you, sir? Masters, masters, the mail, I've got the mail. So many letters, our followers are rising, rising. Why, thank you, Igor. Thanks, Igor. Thanks, Why, man. He's wearing a mask. I know. He's not invisible, though. I think he thinks he's invisible, but he's not. Well, you have to do this like a cat. He's got his own little death frisbee, but, you know. Yep. Yeah. yeah. He's Although going it's a real frisbee. It's, yeah. like, it's like, oh. Yeah. yeah. He throws it yeah. at people, hits him in the head. I think he thinks we can't see him, but, you know, we'll just let it, we'll just let it slide. He's just, like, going like this around the table. He's like. <laughs> you know, the listeners I'm can't see right? Yeah, I know. Yeah. That's what's great about it. Yeah. Well, he, if you want Igor to deliver your mail to us. You want to get a hold of us on Facebook. Facebook.com slash Saturday Night Freak Show. On Twitter. At Sat Freak Show. By email. Saturday Night Freak Show at Yahoo.com. Or on Instagram at Saturday Night Freak Show. And tonight. It's always great because Colin keeps this list in his back pocket, so I never... We, we never it's know. It's always a surprise. We don't mail. know. Yeah. <laughs> Colin don't wasn't know. like holding off the side. He's just like... Ah! <laughs> mail! Yeah. Alright, well I got... Uh, That's pretty long now. A right? lot, yeah. So we're awesome. Gonna, I like long right. mail. So, about Predator 2, Chris Huddleston writes in and said, I'd rate Predator 2 just okay. 
The original is the only good movie to involve a predator that's worth watching. Predator was a good movie with a great creature design, but it's way behind Terminator 1 and Terminator 2, in my mind. Even True Lies and Conan and the Barbarian. He's judging it based on Arnold Schwarzenegger. Those are not movies. comparable. Oh, okay. Not say, comparable uh, at all. Like, what's the common thing? Oh, Schwarzenegger. Okay. <laughs> and he says, uh, read the upcoming The Predator. Finding out that there's a kid in the cast knocked my expectations down a couple notches. I'm nowhere near as excited for it as Blade Runner 20. It's going to be very like alien and uh, like Ripley and Newt. I'm, yeah, I'm sure. not, I'm yeah. not yeah. confident about adding a kid to yeah. the Wait, What if thing? they're adding a kid because of the fact that the Predator has a soft spot for kids? Well, it's very what if strategic. It's what if it's like um, Maria Conchita Lanzanzo's kid? Kid Nightmare Man 3? It's Remember that's the last I know, but that's the last Shane Black movie that had a kid in it. Well, that's how he uses kids. The Nice Literally. Guys had a kid? Yeah. Okay, Colin, thanks for right. ruining it. Be optimistic. The Nice more. Guys uh, had a kid in it. Mm-hmm. Do you not remember yeah, that? She was all right. She was also. Awesome. It, it worked out very well. But she was also the emotional core. This is right. This is right. Movies There's about reason. warriors. Okay. I don't like the uh, uses kids. I'm not confident. Uh, MFL okay. writes in and says, I love the first Predator. I saw Predator 2 when it came out in theaters and watched it a few years ago. He loves the voodoo posse. The movie Guru Podcast writes in and says, uh. I saw it by accident on Channel 11 <laughs> Evening Movie. Don't you the- love that I, one? I sat down yeah. for two hours I, on I accident thought it was Predator. and watched this no, movie. I don't know. <laughs> Uh, he says, from the first moment I saw it, I was glued to the screen and then blown away by the ending. Yeah. Um, about our episode, Blood Sport, ah. Dom Cree writes in and Hello, says, Dom. okay, USA, how did you guys not like this movie? USA. You must be fans of Best of the Best instead. Hey, I watched this like three days, like three days after we recorded again, just because <laughs> I saw it on so TV. Like, like I channel flipped and it was on TV. I was like, huh. Oh, cool. I'll watch Chicken. this again. Mm-hmm. And I watched it again. So I am a fan. Well, he also says but if you. The rest you, of you guys. Or he says the scene of Van Damme playing blind isn't the greatest scene in film history. <laughs> well, then you are mistaken. Uh, no, we're not. That's what we're, <laughs> that's what we're comparing it to the greatest scene in film no, history. It's, no. It says right Sorry, there. Dom. Damn, Dom. It's not, even, got Rose Dom, Bud. it's not even the greatest blind scene in history. No, we made our <laughs> argument. When you're blinded by something, you don't go in eyes wide open. No. It doesn't no, happen. You're squinty. Your eyes are watering. No, no, that's Stop in real it. life though, Holly. But when you're acting, yeah. like right. Van Damme, when you're acting, master you do better. You have to yeah. look confused. Uh, Ven Fitness writes in and says, "Bloodsport is my favorite Van Damme movie f- of all times." Oh, that's how a lot shit. of people feel. Yeah. All right. So second place, I'll give it to you. He'd say is JCVD, and third place. Mm-hmm. Lionheart. Yeah. Oh, I watch this Lionheart movie. I love people- Lionheart. <laughs> Keep talking about it. Uh, Schlockapile, nice name, writes in and says, uh, don't know if you guys knew, but the actor who plays Ray Jackson in Bloodsport, Bloodsport also played Ogre in Revenge of the Nerds. What? Uh, no way. What? Oh, my Just God. very young, I'm guessing. Is there wow. My mind's a little There's blown a bunch by of, that, honestly. jaws are on the floor, Schlockapile. <laughs> Schlockapile. Schlockapile. I was Schlockapile is yeah, a sorry. weird name. I got your name wrong. <laughs> Schlockapile is better. Schlockapile. Like, I understand yeah. that name. Schlockapile is not Pile good. of Schlock. <laughs> and Karate Warrior 2 writes ah. in and says uh, that he's absolutely heartbroken that you guys didn't dig this. Sean gets a minus 10 points for, for his sport. lackluster recital of the line, I love you. I'm wow. sorry. Was, I yeah. really couldn't think of anything at that, that point. He singled you out, dude. He did. <laughs> I, 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 wow. I, I, Shots fired. Score, if you Shots he was. Yeah. He was. He fired. said there would be scored on yeah. it, and I, I admit yeah. I failed, because yeah. I didn't remember the I'm gonna fucking kill you line, yeah. which is yeah. the greatest <laughs> line in that movie. Like Second to, we both grow children. Yeah. <laughs> But it, uh, yeah, I can't. I can't make up for that one. I yeah. fucked up. I'm sorry. And about our episode the, about the mummy, uh, Chris Huddleston writes in again and says, "Colin, so glad you mentioned mummy, the mummy daddy episode of Amazing Stories. I was thinking of that all through the episode and planned to comment that people should watch it before I got to the wrap ups. Uh, the mummy from Tales from the Dark Side movie is great as well. I gotta watch this mummy daddy. Thanks, thing. Yeah. It's pretty good. All right, so that's Shots. our mail. And again, we hope that you will write in to us. And now we're going to go around the room and review Predator 2. Who's up first? (laughs) Yeah. I'm so on the ball, I went in ahead of Colin (laughs) finishing up his sentence. (laughs) Colin, what did you think of Predator 2? Well, thanks for asking. You're welcome. Um, Yeah. So, I mean, I'm in the unique situation right now, well, for me, of having seen both Predator and Predator 2 damn near back to Recently, back yes. yeah because it was like three weeks ago or whatever that i watched the uh the other one yeah 
And, you know, Predator 2 was one of those movies that I went back, you know, like, you know, like, hey, I haven't seen this movie since, like, the 90s. You know, I should go back and watch that's it. A, I don't know if you know, Colin, that's a long time ago. It is, yeah, yeah. The 90s is yeah. a long time you ago don't now. I think it is. It's a yeah. depressing it amount a of time ago. A long time ago, because we're coming up on almost 30 years uh, of Predator 2. Um, Jesus. But, and I got the poster on my you wall do. for this movie, because that's an awesome, the tagline, he's in town with, with a few days, days to, kill to kill for coming this Thanksgiving. That's great. Predator 2. Uh, fantastic. That's great. Um... Does a good tagline on a poster make a good movie? No. <laughs> no. I don't think it makes a good movie, but it makes an awesome poster. It does. Yeah, it and it can awesome make you poster. want to see the movie. I don't know. Um, yeah, it's trying to... It's. I think the fact that it's written by the guys who made the first one um, keeps it like as kind of like a pure Predator experience, which I haven't honestly had since. Mm-hmm. Uh, cause I think I fucking hated AVP. I hated AVP two more mm-hmm. and I was just kind of cold by like predators. It was like, well, I feel like I've kind of seen this before and I'm like, maybe I don't need any more predator movies, they did which is kind of where I'm at, which is like, yeah. I really don't need the predator. Uh, I'm curious cause it's a new predator movie and I'm a fan of the monster, but you know, I really don't need another, but I think, you know, it's a classic movie monster. This movie is a fucking hardcore action movie more so than the first one. Um, I think the first one's a better movie because I mean, to say that it's got better characters is, you know, like, uh, I don't know if I can defend that because they're just these muscle bound dudes on a mission, yeah. but the suspense and the the way that you know it reveals what's actually happening, uh, and since it's your first time going into that world, uh, I like that more. And I just like the jungle and the the single predator, you know, and the fight between you know these two uh, warriors at the end. But I get the you know the logical thing to do with the sequel is like, well, let's move it to the city. I think the cast is like interesting, but I don't know. I I don't know about Danny Glover. As you know, like the ultimate warrior, you know, <laughs> right? I mean, well, no, not, well, no one says he's the ultimate warrior. He is because he fucking beat the predator. But he's the ultimate warrior. I mean, you can, you know, <laughs> was, hey, yeah, a, hey, Colin. Any given Sunday, you can one team can beat the other. You know what I'm saying? Like, <clears throat> oh, so you're saying like, it's luck. I, that, I'm that not it, saying like that's circumstances not the, conspired. That's not, the, that's not what the movie is proposing. Oh, really? In order to beat a predator. You have to be, be a better warrior than the predator. But he, but like Danny Glover's got a lot backing him as well. Like he's got like other police officers. He's got, I suppose he, Danny Glover himself, does all the damage to the predator. Mm-hmm. And I guess that kind of moots my point. Yeah, because he's got, Mano, he's it's got, him versus the predator. I guess so because wins. Gary Busey's in all that's in it, but he pretty much yeah. does all the damage to the predator. Yeah. All right, I'll give you that. But <laughs> as far as its structure, I mean that they're setting out to crea- to craft this, you know. This is a movie that's trying to never stop moving. And so, you know, you get the big shootout at the beginning. There's lots of confrontations and intrigue and people yelling at each other and predators killing people or the predator killing Mm -hmm. people and the weird, you know, voodoo gang shit. I mean, like all that stuff. (laughs) I, I don't know. It didn't slow down for me. It's that, you know, because it's all exposition dumps. More than it is character development. Yeah. It's all the characters just gather around, you know, in a room and over the phone, like, you know, explain this clue and how it's, you know, relating to this supernatural or, you know, this alien creature that they've, that they're all tracking or heading toward. Um, But once it hits that, you know, the, 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 immediately following the funeral scene, like it feels like it's just running, running, running all the way to the end of the movie. And, uh, I like, you know, all of that. So, I mean, like it's a movie that if it wasn't tied to the first movie, I think I would rate it higher Mm -hmm. because as an action movie, it's pretty thrilling. Um, but because it's predator two, right. You it's, always have I that first yeah, one to compare it to. I don't like it as much as the first one. So right there, it's like it sounds like you know you're kind of dinging it, but uh, you know I don't think that's the. Uh, I think it's yeah. It's just different. But it's hard. It's hard. When I say hardcore, just in its attitude, 
the attitude of the characters, the viciousness of the, uh, the, the you know, because you're in this gang war zone. Right. I think um, uh, Roger Ebert described it as mean and angry. I mean, and angry. yeah, think, yeah, well, that's, it does. It, does. it, it angry has, and yeah. Mean and, yeah, in a way that like, I don't know that like, I can't think of a modern action movie that was like, geez, the, the way this thing is just like, yeah, just mean spirited, like the whole, yeah. you know, whole setting of it, and, you know, so, um. Yeah, I don't know. It's a RoboCop of Predator movies. Yeah, yeah. So there you go. So if you're in the mood for that kind of thing, uh, I think you might be. You should check out Predator 2. It's a pretty goddamn good uh, action movie. Holly, what did you think of Predator 2? Dose. I feel like you and I watched different movies tonight. Oh, shit. (laughs) I I told you, you'd never know what the fuck is going to happen. Oh, shit. Yeah, yeah I, that's why you gotta stick around, man. Yeah, that's why I gotta I, be here. I um, hmm. <laughs> I was bored out of my mind with this movie. I did not think it was action packed at all. Damn. Like, I I appreciate the gang. <laughs> Thank you, Sean. <laughs> um, it's, got, it's got a predator. It does have a predator on it. But here's the thing: I wanted more predator. I don't like the pixelated predator. I want to see him. We've already seen him. I don't know why he's camouflaged so much. I I just feel like it was kind of unnecessary. I think the Predator's a great design. I, I Like I said, we've already seen him, so why not show more? I, I understand it in the first one, it, there's a suspense factor, but there's not really a suspense factor in this one. Yes, you Colin. Know, they did that in all the Friday the 13th movies up until the sixth one. Like <laughs> mm-hmm. Jason, even yeah, they you've did. seen him yeah. in the last one, mm-hmm. everyone starts off with like, here's his hand or his shoulder or whatever. Like, we've seen the dude. Yeah, they do the exact same they're thing. trying. Yeah. Something in the zeitgeist? Maybe. I don't know. I just, I think it's a great design and I want to see more of it. I, I don't, I mean, I love Danny Glover. I think he's great. I think he is a wonderful sidekick. I don't think he is main dude material. He's miscast in this movie. He I is. Think. He is. I think he's great. I think he's absolutely great. But in this, I was just like, eh, all right, he's the hero, I guess. It just didn't work for me. I I, I like the idea of the gang wars, and I see what you're saying, but it just like jumps right in in the beginning. There's nothing better but, for L.A. <laughs> than just a gang war. Like, a movie yeah, no, is like, just L.A. gang wars. I appreciate that, and I... I think it could have been really great, but the whole like intro, the whole scene in the beginning with with the gang war, I was just like, I don't know what's happening, and I'm kind of bored with it. Like, just wrap it up. Let's get to let's get to the story. Let's get to Predator. It just didn't do anything for me. I I, I liked I, I I love the set. We talked about the set design. It was great. I love the end. The end is great with all of the Predator elders or whatever they were. That was fantastic. I thought that was a really cool ending. But the previous hour, nothing. I just was not feeling it at all. Um, I think the first Predator is... I agree with... Sea Huds is the one that wrote in and said it's the only one, right? I agree I agree with him. <laughs> I gotta agree with him. I think Predator 1 is the only Predator. Yeah, I was bored. I, I wanted to like it. But I didn't like it until the very end, like the last 10 minutes. So I can't say I recommend this movie. Sorry. See, there you go. You never know what you're going to get. <laughs> yeah. I wasn't expecting that. So I have a, I have a bit of a backstory with Predator. Oh, so um, the I first... I like you always have a backstory. Story time. <laughs> yeah. Right. Here, plus, guys, let's settle in for some oh, Kevin Smith right. story time here. <laughs> so, uh, so the first one is one of my dad's favorite movies. So I grew up on it. I saw it a lot as a kid. It never scared me. Thought it was a great movie. Loved it. Um, before I saw the second one... I, my dad, my dad was really into like um, cryptozoology and like enigmas and stuff like that. Like he was really into like Bigfoot and like, and like and yeah, like <laughs> like unres- unsolved mysteries kind of oh, shit, right? All right. So yeah, like he was really into that stuff. Mysteries. So we would watch shows like that all the time with like as a kid, and like. When you're a kid and your imagination's more bountiful, that shit's terrifying because yeah. you're like, this is possible. <laughs> and we watched some show. I don't know what it was, when but you it could be scared to death by a theme song. Yeah. 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 Oh my God. That theme song <laughs> yeah. chills every time. Boo. 
Yeah, but my dad was totally into all this, and like, I loved it. But um, I was into it too, and I would always be like, you know, I was scared to be like, fuck yeah, and put on a brave face, and still like, you know, face it head on. But we were watching some show, and I don't remember what it was, but there were it was a documentary show, and it's on YouTube. I found it since then, and and relived a bunch of horrible memories. But um, there was a show about how. In England, they have placed security cameras everywhere, right? Yes. Like, there are security cameras all over England, especially London and the major metropolitan areas. Like, to the point that they are facing into people's apartment windows. They're everywhere. And this guy... Oh, God. Like, I'm feeling it, like, coming up right now. Like, this guy... Was really fed up with the fact that like cameras were looking into his apartment in London. He paid all this money for this apartment and cameras for the government were looking right into it. Put up a curtain. So, he, like, so curtains, to get bro. back at them, what he did was he, he went to a costume shop and he rented a Predator costume and he walked around the streets of London in a Predator costume and they showed all the CCTV footage of Predator walking the streets of London. Ruined me for life. I had thought Predator was real. I had seen it was real. I had seen the movie Predator, but this, like seeing black and white CCTV footage of this guy in a Predator costume walking the streets of London, ruined me for life. I was up all night crying and terrified because, like, I knew he was in the. I knew he existed in the context of this movie with Arnold, but now he's in London walking the streets of fucking London, seeing captured on CCTVs. I like. I remember being up at night. I was probably like eight or nine years old, just crying and sobbing and being like, predator Predator could come get me at any moment because he's invisible and I will never know. And he'll just come, you know, I like the stuff. Yeah. yeah. This is stuff kids worry about. Yeah, exactly. Like I remember just ruining me. So to remedy that my dad showed me predator (laughs) two to be like, it's just a movie. And I remember Predator 2 being like, well, fuck this. Who I, who gives a shit? It's LA Gang Wars. I don't care about that. Like, I remember as a kid being like, oh, well, so I'm fine now. the fact that he's walking like, around London terrifies you, but yeah. the fact that he's walking around LA, you're like, yeah. I'm good. I'm like, I'm whatever. good. <laughs> like, like, but like, the context of him walking around London and seeing the black and white CCTVs was so much more jarring and realistic than the context like, of Predator it's not 2. It's funny, but he's just like hanging out and just yeah. like, got like, caught on camera. It's a Bigfoot moment for you, basically. But like, yeah, but it, was, it, it was the Gimlin Patterson footage of Predator predator like if you've got if the Basically, gimlin yeah. patterson footage is like the ultimate proof of Was bigfoot just walking down like a like well, and here's, the, here's the thing in that footage which like guys we'll post this eventually so you can see what i'm talking about so you know i'm not crazy because it does exist like like there's a part where like cops in london come up and start talking to him too right like like they pull him over basically and they're like come on man what are you doing but like being a child you're like what the fuck is happening right Why now yeah, yeah exactly so Ruin me for life, like to the point that now, like I love Predator. I think it's a great movie. I think Predator Two, you know, has its problems. We'll, we'll get to it. But like, it gives me like a little bit of a flutter in my stomach every time I see his mask take off, just because like I think about that scene of him walking in downtown London and the CCTV footage. Sure. So like, it still affects me to this day, and so weird. It's such a weird thing to try to explain, which like I'm trying to do a, be- a good That's job a here. But like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. so. But this movie was kind of the remedy to that, seeing that footage, because it's like, okay, well, it's just something Hollywood exploits for money. It was kind of like what my dad was trying to show me. Like, hey, it's not a real thing. It's just a, it's just a money-making machine. I, but you, like, I can cure your phobia, because I've seen the Predator serenade the alien <laughs> yeah. on the Jimmy Kimmel show. Yeah. Yeah. That will do it yeah. right there. Yeah. Like, there's, okay. a lot, yeah. there's a lot that will break that yeah. at this point. Yeah. Um, I like how your dad's your, your dad's way to break you of this. Like, here, let me show you a, a, a video of the predator in real life. Yeah, right. <laughs> let me show you him just walking the street to prove he's more real. Watch that. That'll make you feel better. I think. Mm-hmm. I think he thought that since I had seen the movie, it wouldn't affect me the way it did. Like, I think he was like, "Well, she already knows that's from a movie. It's fine." Yeah. But like, but you're like, really, dad, I was like, real. "Oh God, it's real." Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so he's like, "Oh shit, I, I guess so." So predator to me is something that like I have hard time looking like looking at straight on because of that because i'm just like there's still a little part of me that's like oh god (laughs) and i'm like i won't see it coming with (laughs) with the box right now (laughs) but predator 2 the first two thirds of the movie are not that interesting it's a lot of cop walk and talk it's a lot of la gang shootouts it's a lot of like um cop procedural stuff um but the last like the ending is such a fucking mic drop that I think it makes up for the rest of the movie. Like the ending is just like you're just like once Danny Glover kills that 
Predator, you're like, all right, it's over. And he's going to be like, yeah, I've had enough of this shit after he kills him or something. No, that's not how it ends. I wish it would have just ended with them carrying the body out and then boom, cut to credits. We didn't need the the last little bit of that. It was a little protracted at yeah. the end of that. Yeah. 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 Uh, I think you could easily cut 40 minutes of this movie and we have a much the, better pacing. Cut, I think they do. I think yeah. it's uh, obviously quicker because the guy from the helicopter never lands and comes up to him and talks to him. Yeah. It always cuts to him. You don't need that. Flying, and then it just cuts out. I would like my, the last scene to be like a push in on Danny Glover's face of just being like, what the fuck? After yeah. like he hands him the 1715 gun and that's it. Like fade to black then. But that ending is such a fucking mic drop. And I remember th- the first time watching this movie being like, all right, I'm going to be over my fear because this shit will be over with. And then seeing <laughs> the end of that movie and be like, there's more of them. Like, no. Oh, <laughs> like, I remember being like, no, there cannot be more just of keeps them. keeps getting worse. Yeah, <laughs> basically. Like, oh my God, like, predators, there's like, more? Yeah. I was like, there's a, there's a whole society of them with diff- yes. le- different level of there's skill. A of you're just, oh my God. You're just like curled up in the corner, like crying, yeah. and you're like, London's gonna fall. Yeah. <laughs> and now they're fighting the aliens. Yeah. I don't know what to do. Yeah. Well, and I remember seeing the aliens go, I remember my dad pausing and be like, do you recognize that? And being like, yeah, it's from Alien. He'd be like, yeah. So Predator can be alien. And then we're going to be like, oh, God, there's no stopping. Your dad is not. Your dad is psychotic. Your dad's like, yeah. Yeah. Isn't it great? Yeah. Yeah. Um, So Predator 2 is. Does your dad have children after you? I just want to know. One. Yeah. All right. So he continued the tradition. I was the middle child. So he was the experimental child. Probably. Right. Then he's like, oh, that's not that one. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. (laughs) So. I think that, you know, it's worth it for the last 20 minutes, 20, 30 minutes. It's worth watching. Hot plate on. It's probably worth watching. Probably. You know, um, we'll say, though, I think it was Bill Paxton said loosen your sphincters at one point in time. He did. On he the did. train. He's okay. Like, like the reference of sphincters is such a 90s thing. Very. That, like, no so one talks really about sphincters No, every no, no. Well, no. no. and like, not to get yeah, nitpicky. Right. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's a very, <laughs> it's a very. <laughs> so it's all assholes it's from my lexicon. Well, you know so why? No. Here, I'm getting nitpicky with the grammar here. Sphincter does not technically refer to asshole because sphinct- you have several sphincters in your body yeah, uh, i'm sorry dad if you're listening to this i'm about to talk about buttholes here but here we go like please don't listen to this part um like you have a sphincter in your butthole but you also have one at the top and bottom of your stomach as well like there it's it, it is a muscle closure <laughs> it's <laughs> much it's, like the door in alien if you can imagine yes it yeah. is exactly or, like yeah, that or the yeah. door in et where it's just yeah sh- the yeah. orifice hole Yes, right. you have you have several sphincters in your body, but yeah, loosen your sphincters is it's the most nineties thing, and you learn something. Yeah, welcome to Freak Show Anatomy. Yeah, exactly. okay, I've talked enough. Sean, it's your turn. <laughs> Wait, Wait, did you that, recommend the movie? Episode? Um, I you would say watch the last twenty to thirty minutes. No, I want a hard yes or no. Uh, Do you recommend this yes movie? Yes, for the last thirty minutes. No. Yes, okay, I fine. guess. <laughs> fine. I'm paralyzed by fear with this franchise, so I. You know. I was very. Yeah. You do, all right, you do have extenuating circumstances mm-hmm. with this franchise. So I'll give you that. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm a big fan of. Uh, I like Danny Glover. I grew up. Uh, I grew up on Lethal Weapon. Like that was my thing. That was. Uh, it was always on. It was always just something I was watching. Like Danny Glover is like it was a big, big thing. Danny Glover was a big thing in my life. I don't know how many people can say that, but I, I believe him as the uh, as the action star of this movie because there's not like everything he does in this movie isn't out of like it doesn't feel like it's out of the realm of something Danny Glover can do. It's not like he's you know uh, lifting cars or anything like that. He doesn't have to be a muscle bound action star to pull off what he's doing in this movie. So I believe what he's doing in this is eh, it's perfectly fine. Um, I really like like Colin said it's a cla- he, the Predator is a classic. Monster to me. It's what I grew up on. That design, I love it. Um, the first one is uh, obviously. I mean, I ha- right. Obviously, it's a classic. Mm-hmm. Like I feel it is. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, so Definitely. it is to me, if nothing else. Um, I like. I like what they did with this movie. Like if they had just spent a sequel uh, in the jungle doing the same thing, you know, I think that would have been like. Probably wasted opportunity. Um, give me a sequel that's uh, set in the L.A. jungle. Like I said before, I'm for it. Give me an L.A. cop movie. And in the 90s, yeah, I'm all for it. Put Danny Glover in it. Dude, yes. the 90s was all about the L.A. The 90s, 90s all about L.A. LA. cops, LAPD yeah. all over the place. So you put the Predator in there, I'm in. I want Predator Goes to Las Vegas. That would be. I would love that. I don't think Predator are... in uh, like Victorian London. Oh, oh yes, Predator on the high you know, seas. Yeah, pirate. 
predators. Yeah. That would be like, good. There's because so many it feels missed like, opportunities. Because it yeah. feels like whoa, whoa. Based <laughs> pirate predator. Yes. You blew my mind. That's well, amazing. I mean, but it feels like based on the end of this That's movie. Amazing. That's it's possible. Happening. It's He's possible. Got a pirate sword and yeah. everything. Like, I Western want predator. That movie. I want a but wild Western west. Western predator. Wild west oh, predator. Six shooter predator. Oh, oh, my yes. God. You realize all of this has been done by Dark House Comics. Probably. I don't. I assume. I'm gonna go look and find out. That's. The, that's it. what I love about the ending of this movie because if it was limited before this and if there was no like comic adaptations uh, before this, this movie, at least at the end of it, opens up kind of the Predator mythos to a bunch of opportunities. Uh, if if not for real, then like in your in the audience's head, like you see what comes at the end of this movie, and it gives you so much uh, so much different things that you can see the predator doing, and it gives you so much story in uh, probably a very limited time. I love what they do at the end of this movie. Um, it does a lot for me, and just what they could do based on all the predators that come in at the end, uh, I think is pretty great. Um, I like the story of this movie. It does. Uh, feel a little long at some points. I think it's only an hour and 40 minutes. Sometimes it feels a little long. But again, I'm all for the L.A. cop procedural movie, and I think they weave it in with what the Predator is doing. And I don't think... Um, uh, I, I don't really think there's anything you can really like... For me... Except for maybe the opening action scene, there's not much you can really like cut out. I like the way the story goes. Um, it feels like a detective movie. They're trying to figure out what's going on. We know as the audience that the predator is involved in this, but it's fun for me to watch our police characters kind of figure it out and lead up to the end. Um, I, I I definitely recommend this movie. Um, I hadn't watched it in a long time, but I figured since we were coming up on the 30th anniversary of Predator, uh, we can't talk about Predator because. You know, it's a classic. So we go to Predator Two and uh, watching it tonight. Like, I yeah, I still like this movie. I really like this movie. I'm gonna uh, definitely watch it again after this. Which one do you like better? <sighs> Predator. Okay, mm-hmm. I like Predator better. All right. Predator talking. is just the like, better match. After that, you sounded very excited. No, yeah. I'm, but I do. But I also think. But I do like this movie. I like Predator Two. Like, it's still up there with me. It's got a lot of elements for it. Like, it's got Danny Glover and it's got a Predator and it's in L.A. Like, all the elements are there for me. Like, based on my childhood, I'm in for it. So anytime it's on, I'm going to watch it. L.A. Glover, Predator, you're in. That's all I need. <laughs> Predator, obviously, is still like it's still a better movie, like, story-wise, structurally, and uh, with, you know, the way they treat the character of the Predator as far as what happens to him and his reveal uh, later on in the movie. It's still obviously a better movie. But this one, still pretty damn good. So I definitely recommend Predator 2. All right, well, that's Predator 2 on the Saturday Night Freak Show. We hope you'll join us for next week's episode with a movie that's going to be chosen by... Michaela? No, goddamn God Holly! Holly! I didn't even think about it before Sean. this. I'm not going to announce this um, anymore. I keep eating too much shit. It's okay. Holly, um, what are we watching next, next week? Next week, we are going to watch... Oh, have you? does no, not oh, know. No. We're gonna watch uh, the 2004 remake, Uh-oh. Dawn of the Dead. All right, All right. So that's yep. gonna be All next right. week Let's on the it. Saturday Night Freak <laughs> Show. Nom, 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 nom. And until then, <laughs> the basement is going dark. <laughs>